friends welcome to not the mma holes tonight we are doing a test a testicle stream uh, i gotta i need more green to hide my mic a testicle stream because we've been having a lot of audio issues on the main channel so i decided to go live on this channel play a little dead by daylight have a little combo station all right let's go let's see how it's going how is everyone doing tonight i know it's late it is late 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 we've been working on this audio situation for the last two fucking days last night we almost went to the hospital because jbm almost popped false alarm we're here and we're queer like jesse likes to say all right here we go let's pop into dead by daylight now i'm curious we might get a little bit this stream might be a little clearer than usual so that's cool hey john johnston uncle boss obi juan uncle champ have a great night welcome to the stream all right yeah so let's see should we do a survivor or a killer first clear right yeah i have a feeling so i pumped up some of the settings a little bit should I, should I really tweak them up the settings and like go for it? Like go fucking full force? It's on the second channel. You go full force. Let me see how it looks. Yeah, it looks good. All right. So the new computer's working. So the funny part, we've been going crazy trying to figure out the settings and yada, yada, yada. And then Jesse stumbled upon this thread that said, update our mixer driver. Okay, this is from two years ago. So like, all right, we looked at that, and sure enough, it seems like that was the issue. So audio, there'd be no more crumples. What's that? Hopefully. Yeah, you want to get on mic? There you go. Say, say hello. Hi, I'm not staying. Okay, she's not staying. Uh, hey, Kainoto, how you doing? All right. Uh, by the way, we watched Mortal Kombat. We watched Mortal Kombat. Did you guys see it in the chat? If so, let me know what you thought. Should I do Killer or Survivor? Which should I start with? Killer. Okay. All right. Let's not kill anybody. Let's let everyone live. 
Noise, you got 14 likes up in this bitch? Yeah, baby. One, one. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. All right. Uh, if you just jump it in, uh, we're just, this is a, like a last second stream that we threw together just to um, test, test your might. No, we were testing some audio out. I'm, I, sounds like it, it should be good. I thought Mortal Kombat was really bad. Four out of ten. Horrible movie. Yeah, but I think, wasn't it meant to be horrible? I mean, the acting was horrific, like, terrible. Uh, the story was terrible. But when the techno music kicked in, bam, 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 and they're fucking, I felt like a little kid. It was funny. I was telling Jesse, I think because I went into this movie knowing it was going to suck, expecting suckage in Mortal Kombat, I didn't hate it. It was terrible, and that's what I expected. I don't know if any, I think people went into this movie th thinking, hey, like, like Godzilla vs. King Kong, I expected good fight scenes. I, and, a, and a decent story. That's what I accept, expected. Shitty story, great fight scenes. With Mortal Kombat, I expected terrible story, terrible acting, and good fight scenes. Fight scenes! There were some that were good, some that weren't good, but still, I felt nostalgic. I don't understand why they fucking harped on... Like, the main character was not a real character from Mortal Kombat. Kind of didn't make any sense. Um. Oh, now Jesse's in. She's in. We're well, talking Mortal Kombat. You're in. Tell me what you think. I thought it was the acting was horrible. Yes. But the storyline kind of went with because I used to play the video game when I was younger, so like it was kind of like ah, this, story schmory. It Who was cares? it was kind of cool, like kind of nostalgic, you know. But the acting was god awful. Yeah. Like the main guy almost was almost unwatchable. But you did like Sub Zero, right? I liked all Pretty of them. Cool. I liked all. Of, it was cool to see, like, the, from the video games, to see all their powers and stuff like that. Like yeah. that was cool. They legit, even they fought just like the fucking video yeah, game. Yeah, like, it was really cool. That's why when people were like, "Ah, oh, the fight scene sucked." Well, the video game fight scenes sucked too. You know, like yeah. the video game. Let's be honest, Mortal Kombat sucked. It was a shitty video game. Like that, they, they were just like like this. But the reason why we played was because of the the carnage. Yeah, you know, ripping heads Finish off. Him. And, yeah, the stupidity. Yeah. So I like that the they movie included was that. I like that they included that in the movie too. The finish him that part. Yeah. Yeah, I love yeah, yeah, that. They had to throw that in there, and it wasn't. There was no tournament. You know, I don't know if you want to, us to get all spoilery on it, but what's up, drunk? Oh, Moss, do you want to see nobody? Yeah, I do want to see it. Um, do the thing we we're talking about on this channel or on the main channel? Uh, you want to do it here? It's up to you. Hmm. We were having a discussion. A very, a very. Uh, well thought out discussion. <laughs> hmm. Should we do it here? I don't see why not. I mean, I guess you could do it on both. Well, if we do it on the main channel, it's, it's more special. So do it here and then do it again on the main channel. No, no. It's only one shot. But this is more personal. Okay. So it's we'll do it you. here. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We get out of the scene. <laughs> make it like a big deal. <laughs> we're going to make an announcement. We're going to make an announcement here on Not the MMA Hill. So the people that are coming onto the stream, it's 8 o'clock over here. Well, almost 8. And what, 9, 10, 11? It's 11 for some people over there. We're going to make an announcement right now. <laughs> Why are you making it such a like... I'm just drum rolling. I'm just happy that the audio is working now. Yeah. This is great. Hopefully. Well, let's try and get through the stream without any issues first. Okay, here we go. This stream, we're making a fantastic announcement. Two joints is banished from the community. We're gonna we're gonna get <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Love you two joints. Just kidding, we're just kidding. Um Drunk Savage is back, right? He's in the community, he's back. Woo! And we said uh, We said yeah. that that's it, no more. We're not doing the mod thing anymore. That's it, patrons only, blah blah blah, right? Yes. But we were talking about it, we were saying, hey, you know what? Drunk's a good guy. Yes. He's a loyal He's a loyal companion here on the MMA Holes. Yes. And he's one of the best, right? Yes. Uh, the, the community loves him. We love him. It, it, just a good guy. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to ban him. No. <laughs> what we're going to do, if Drunk Savage is ready to accept it again, we're going to make him blue. We're going to give him the wrench and make him 
part of the army, the strong, the the front line. If drunk savage is willing to accept this, it is yours. The wrench is yours. So drunk, let me know if you accept this. You're not banned yet, Two Joys. <laughs> Two Joys is weird because he's a complete asshole in the chat. But when he calls in, hey guys, I hope everyone. That he's just <laughs> trolling around. Hey guys, you know, I wish the best for you and uh, Jesse, and <laughs> the baby. I hope uh, Canada's here and uh, loves you very much. And then he goes to the chat, like, I fucking hate you. <laughs> AIDS. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what he says. Hey, Willie. How's it going? Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful stream. It also just felt weird seeing drunk in the chat without a wrench next yeah, to his Yeah, it didn't feel right. It kind of sucked. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. If you guys think I'm worthy of it again, I will make you proud. <laughs> make us proud, drunk. Make us proud, drunk. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, let's all celebrate the people that are here tonight. Let's do something spectacular. Let's throw... Actually, I don't have the ability. Do I? I can do it. You have the ability. I don't know why I don't have the ability. Oh, I do. You want me to do it? Imagine I hit ban. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. All right. It's back. Back in business. In the hands of the drunk savage. And, uh, yeah, listen. Everything I, I, feels normal again. When he called in the other night, I was saying to myself, I didn't bring this up to Jesse because I don't... Don't you, know. you dare ban Sober Carl, Drunk Savage. Yeah. I will remove that <laughs> wrench from you so quick. I was saying he actually sounded good on the phone. Yeah. You know? He could still be drinking or whatever. I don't give a fuck what he does in his personal life. But he mm -hmm. sounded good. Yeah, he sounded yeah. more together. Yeah. So I feel, why not, man? We, we believe in Drunk Savage and... Uh, we, we think you belong as a moderator over there. So there you go. Congratulations to Drunk Savage. He's a wrench. He's wrenched up. Okay. Now everything's back to normal. <laughs> that is normal. Now two joints. Anytime two, two joints says AIDS, <laughs> just fucking time him out, Drunk. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's murder for Drunk now. <laughs> let's murder. Yeah, it's only right. It feels good, man. I'm glad, I'm glad you're back in the community. And, uh, it, you know... Just seeing the rest of the, the, you know, like Brett Baratheons and a lot of people, like a lot of people missed him when he was gone, you know? So it's, it's, it's good to see him back and, you know, intertwining with everybody, making some friends and all that shit. Sure. You can time out RX just because, uh, he was, he was rooting for Jorge Masvidal. <laughs> How dare he? Oh God. Oh, so Jay Smokey, we, we, we finally got a new computer. But we decided we were going to go the PC route and build it and this and that. And we we're looking at parts and pieces. And we were talking to people in the community over here uh, about putting it together. And then we stumbled on this fucking MSI. Do you know the model of this thing, this computer? Um, It's it's the G. Yeah, let me pull it up. It's like the Maybe GX. you would know about this. But I, I contacted a bunch of nerdy friends and stuff. We were actually going to dip back into the DMs and, and hit up Jay Smokey because he knows what he's talking about. But we got this MSI. We ha I had an MSI before, a laptop, and we found this one here, and it had like all these fucking awesome specs. We were like, yeah, let's just go for it. So that's where we're on right now. We got our brand new MSI, dropped the cool three Gs. Now yeah, chump change the MMA holes. We just <laughs> 3,000 here, 3,000 there, no biggie, you know? But let's see how this thing works. Wonderful, Hopefully it works. Wonderful, uh, wonderful, wonderful. Kainoto, how you doing, Kainoto? Remember Night Wolf? He was my favorite fighter in that game. Yeah, that game doesn't translate into a movie. You guys got to watch Nobody. It's tied with the first John Wick. Hmm. It's so damn good. I got to see that. bad movies from Brain with Nobody. All right. Kainoto, that is definitely next. There's no doubt about it. I like that actor. Better Call Saul guy. I like that guy. I, I tell you what. Go watch Mortal Kombat, but just go in laughing. Don't, like, don't go in thinking it's good. Just go in there just to... Watch Sub Zero freeze people and shit, you know? Yeah, if you go there with any impression that you're gonna see a a good movie, like a well played out movie, then yeah, yeah come on, you're, you're not going there for the acting or the freaking the incredible story. You're going in there for fucking cheese bull moral. It's like going into watching the Karate Kid show. What the hell is that stupid show called? Uh, what's the name of it, Jess? Uh, Cobra Kai. It's like oh, going yeah. into well, that. Well, this is a little bit expecting worse. Expecting like a like a well that that's not acted well either. That's fucking trash. It's the uh, MSI GE76 Raider. 
The Raider, yeah. GE76. Check it out. Uh, what do you th let me know what you think. Oh, shit. I forgot how to play this already. All right, I'm, I'm, in, I'm invisible right now, Jess. I, I totally forgot how to fucking play this game. Where'd she go? Where'd the little bitch go? Follow Where the scratch marks. Yeah, where'd the little snatch, where'd the little snatch face go? Yeah, I don't, I forgot. <laughs> this is what happens when I stop playing video games for like a week. I just forget everything. What's up, Nicole? How's it going? Oh, How's it hanging? Oh, shit, bulls. Um, hope all jump. is well with you. Uh, yes, all is well. Hope all is well with you guys, man. Uh, you and Pale and uh, the fuck. kiddos. Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm getting lost in a house. How do I get out of this house? The monster's lost. All right, come on, we gotta get one kill here. For fuck's sake, get out of here! All right, all right. I'm, I'm well. I'm stuck in this fucking place. This this is a nightmare for a killer, Jess. I'm just gonna say that. If you're a killer. You don't want to be in this this map here. It's a lot of things to run into. Okay, so unlock is L2. And then I think R2 is attack. So let's find let's let's try to kill somebody before they all get out of here. Jesus this is terrible, guys. Oh my god. Everyone's gonna run out of here and just laugh at me. Oh my god, I'm a terrible I'm a terrible murderer. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, where is everybody? Shit, where the fuck? They're all banging in the woods. And here I am. See, it's a lot of things to run into, Jess. These trees and shit. Oh, fuck. They got two engines already. Oh, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. Whoop. Oh, hey, bitch. What's she doing? She's fucking, she's humping the uh, wood. Okay. Oh, she saw me. How the fuck did she see me? Because you still have like a... What? You still have like um what? like a wavy glow like thing. Do around. I really? Like you just if you get How close. How did she fucking see me? If you get close That's enough, cool. you look wavy. Oh, so if you hit, if she hits me. No, if you get close oh, enough, they shit. can see like the waviness. Really? Yeah, I see that waviness around you. Oh fuck. Well, that sucks. That Alexa, bitch just fucking dropped a. Stop. She dropped a fucking skid in front of me, right in my face. Oh my god, what is going on? I feel like this is the worst murderer ever. Okay, here I come. Here comes the worst murderer ever. Wait, what the fuck? Where is this bitch? Oh shit, guys. I'm not even gonna be able to stab anybody. Alright, it's just a warm-up, guys. I'm just warming up. Oh my god, this is terrible. It's like watching Mortal Kombat. Oh, God, they got another one, Jess. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell, man? Moss, you're not a very good killer. Well, listen, I'm stuck. It's my first run. I was talking about Mortal Kombat. And, uh... I'm just, I'm just, you know... I think I got another one, Jess. They got another one. I think they're, they're pretty much out of here. I can't even... I haven't even stabbed... Come on, what the fuck? Where are you guys? Oh, man. All right, Chalk, this one is a big fat L, guys. I promise the next one I'll fucking kill somebody. Yeah, Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather is a go. That is a go. Yes, yes, indeed. Yep. So silly. So silly. Hello. Wait. Wait. Oh, fuck. Stop fucking hitting the bell. Uncloak, dude. Ah, oh, fuck! You lost her again. Oh my god, what is going on, man? I can't fucking uncloak. Alright, fuck this. Fuck the cloak. Two men broke into a drugstore and stole all the Viagra. The police put out an alert. Be on the lookout for the two hardened criminals. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Funny guy in the chat. Funny guy! Man, I am shit in the bed so bad. Oh my god. I'm pra I'm warming up, guys. I'm warming up. You know, I just... Uh, the fuck? I don't like this. As a killer, I don't like this map at all. There's too many things to run into. You should play the We'll Be Right Back song in the background just so we can see uh, if uh, the sound is, is all right. Well, we would hear it. We would hear the crackle. Oh, they're already... They're, they're leaving. <laughs> they're leaving me. <laughs> They're fucking leaving me. Oh my god. 
terrible. I should say I should start as a survivor. Can't start as a killer because I, I I'm a little spastic with these controls. What's up, Uncle C? I need to Manny run away. C? I need to run away from people. Hail monkey. Wait. What the fuck? Oh, they're probably at the other one. What was Mortal Kombat like? Well, like we said in the beginning, the it was good for nostalgic purposes, and the characters were were good, and the uh, like fight scenes and stuff. They they if you ever played the video game, they did it just like the video games. It was so cool. Yeah, just expect but, a, expect a shit movie. Yeah, the acting was horrible, and you know, as long as you can get past the fact that the the acting and stuff like that, like it's not a good movie, and just watch it for the nostalgia. It's actually it's thank right. you. It's not bad. Uncle hey. Rahelio, how long has he been? Three months in a row. Three months. Nice. The forgettable main character had body armor as his special weapon and easily made monsters Goro. <laughs> Wait, I'm not oh, reading yeah. that. I'm not, you're going to spoil talking about, it. Like, the, uh... Well, I mean, listen. If, if people are worried about Mortal Kombat being spoiled. All right, what am I doing? I, I want to quit. I want to quit. I want to get out of this game. I want to start fresh, man. I don't want to fucking... These, these... You chose a good killer, too. I don't No, understand. I like this killer. I, I like this guy, but... Like, I'm rusty, man. I'm fucking rusty. And I got this shit map, man. I gotta get out of here. I don't like this one. Get me out of this fucking place. They're all probably waiting by the door, laughing, having some Zimas and shit. Zimas? Yeah. That's, that's, that's what they do in horror movies. They drink Zimas and wait for the killer to come. Mm -hmm. See, they're trying to fuck with me. They're trying, they're, they're trying to fuck with me, Jesse. And I, I don't like that. They're bullying me. They're bullying the murderer. Mortal Kombat was worse than the Mighty Ducks, says two joints. Yeah, see? So because he's from Canada, Jesse, he makes hockey references. By the way, the first Mighty Ducks wasn't bad. At least I don't remember it being bad. Wait, where are these people? I'm going to rage quit in a second. Play Scorpion versus Uzman. Play a different game, then, if, if you don't want to... Um... Yeah, I want to start fresh, man. I don't want to fucking... If you don't want to play this game. It's annoying me. 1919 horror movie with the Zima. Uh, Drunk Savage says, Jake Paul wants to box Usman now. Jake yeah. Paul wants to fight everybody, That's man. That's what he said, right? Hey, he's picking another wrestler. I got to think Usman would still fuck, it, fuck him up. But yeah, another wrestler who's uh, how many pounds lighter? You know, Usman's still a pretty big dude, but... Yeah, they're just fucking with me, these guys. I should just quit on them because they're fucking just hiding and watching me run around circles. Yeah. Why don't you hang by one of the generators and wait for them to appear? Because they're you have that they could be at the end. All right, I'll just hang here. I'm just going to sit here and wait for them to run, run away. What had ears and don't listen? What has ears and doesn't listen? Uh, Moss, what has ears and doesn't listen? What has ears and doesn't listen? Um, corn. That's actually a very good answer. Manny C says Bisping said Jake Paul would destroy Woodley. Bisping said that? What did Bisping said Jake Paul would destroy Woodley? Why? Because of size, maybe? Well, destroy in boxing. A man, she said. It's a man. <laughs> a man has ears and doesn't listen, Moss. A man. Nicole, one day I'm gonna turn you. <laughs> I swear to God, if you were ma married to Pale, I would think you're a lesbian. Why would you think that? <laughs> Why would you think she you're a hates lesbian? men, man? Actually, she just fucking. I know. She, Why yeah, does it make you a, a lesbian? Yeah, lesbians hate men. That's Can't not stand true. Them. That's why they 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 beaver bash. Sometimes That's why they scissor each other. Sometimes lesbians' best friends are men. That's why they scissor each other, Jess. <laughs> because they hate men so much, they rather smash their pussies, pussies each other. You know, each other's crotch, whatever. Did you guys watch the post fight interview with Dana White? It was awesome. He was like, fuck the media, fuck Jake Paul. Yeah. He's great. Yeah, he, uh, you could tell, like, he does not like talking about Jake Paul, but he's not, he's not going to, like, play it off like he hates the guy, but you, it's very readable that, you know, he doesn't like him. Oh, Moss, they got out. Yeah. That's a warm up. It's a warm up. I, you know, run around, just pretend I, I can't give a shit. 
She uh, just hates you, Moss. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you'll see her like when I. <laughs> she doesn't hate you. You guys I, just tease that, around that with time each I other. I was jumping into the, the Willie's chat. She's like, "Oh, Willie, you're so dreamy." And then she comes in here. She's like, "I hate you." <laughs> no, she I doesn't. I hate you, fucking tattooed asshole. In fairness, you go back with her too. Huh? Like you guys don't exactly have. I the mean, nice I don't know what I ever did. What other. did I ever do? Just because I fucking made fun of her one eye. Is that the is that the worst thing in the world? I don't think that's. I don't. I think look at like this. I look like this. A real I think person. you guys just have a love-hate relationship. Yeah, I don't hate him, Nicole. A real person would bring up the one eye, right? A fake person would look at the person and think about the one eye, but never... That you know, doesn't make any sense. Never say anything. <laughs> that's like someone, like, if you're fat, I don't right? think that's it, Moss. I really don't what? think yeah, that's it. Yeah, because I'm real. I'm transparent. <laughs> no, I don't think that's it at all. I'm transparent. I'm a transparent male. <laughs> Doc, uh, Dre Angle. I almost called him Dr. Dre. I almost called Dre Angle Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre? Yeah, we should call him Dr. Dre. In Don't the forget town. about Dre. A uh, naked man broke into a church. The police chased him around and finally caught him by the organ. Ah! Uh, ah! <laughs> funny guy! Shroom Fun says, guy. pass that shit. Nicole says, it's the highlight of my day. Ha ha ha. I just mess with Moss. Yeah, nice. I, I don't think there's like. So she's a bully. She's a bully boy moop, moop it. Movies? Can I um all right, I'm gonna try a killer one more time. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a, a real go this time. I'm not gonna fucking I'm not gonna play around here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna kill. Let's go to the web. Let's go to the dark web over here. Rest in peace, boiled water. You will be missed. Ah ha ha Funny guy. All the all the jokes in the chat tonight. Casey says I took four giant poops today. Oh, that's nice. Did you Lux? You better Lux. MMA Genie says, not funny. Well, in fairness, MMA Genie, you find nothing funny, and you're not quite funny yourself, so no, he was I, laughing. I, I don't expect you to be. He was laughing on the last call. On which call? When we were talking about um, laughing at people crying, he chuckled. Mm -hmm. He finds humor. People's demise. In people being upset or something, <laughs> I think. I love boiled water. Uh, Moss, if you didn't like, you wouldn't, you, or if I didn't like you, I wouldn't fook with you. <laughs> That's right. That's how it works. Two joint says, uh, "Who ha who only has one eye? You, you, Shroom a one eye trouser snake." Says, "How many left hooks did it take to retire Tony Ferguson?" <laughs> Moss, what you're supposed to answer? He's not retired. C. says there's a pirate on the holes, bro. A pirate on the holes. Pirate in the holes. What day is it? Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Today I went outside. All the neighbors were out. Everyone was out. It's a weird feeling. Because what do you do? Like, how do you wave? You're like... And then do you walk over? Like, they're all gathering. I'm just like... What do you do? Like, how do you handle that? Uh, what do you guys do when all the Nate, when you go outside, you go throw TJ a trash out? Dillashaw is out of his fight with Corey Sandhagen. Yes. That's true. I didn't know that. I put the uh, cut on the MMAholes.com. If you were on the MMAholes.com, you would see Drunk it. Savage posted it. I put the cut. The cut? What yeah. do you, what you do got you got mean? a cut on his eye. Oh. Yeah, the MMAholes.com. Check it out. I'm on the MMAholes.com. Yeah. I don't see it, Moss. Well, you got to go through the threads. Moss, you're nowhere to be found on there. I found Anderson Silva in my backyard. Is that the one? No. I did find him in my backyard. You guys want to see a tarantula? We found a tarantula in the yard. Dead, though, unfortunately. It's cute. Cute little tarantula. It actually was... I was telling my mom, it's, it was the cutest tarantula I've ever seen. Right? It was kind of adorable. But it was stiff and dead. It's the only thing that sucked. Don't buy anything made with Velcro. It's a total ripoff. Ah! Funny guy. <laughs> What's up, says Heavy Microgrow. What's <laughs> up, Heavy? The website is wonderful, wonderful, guys. Ah, oh, thanks, Drunk Savage. There's a, lot nice. of, there's a lot wrong with it. Yeah, we got to fix some stuff. So it's nice of you to say that. You got to wait. That, like, if you post something on there, you got to wait for it to completely upload and then hit, like, post. If yeah. you hit post, like, I'm the type of I didn't realize how impatient I am. I put a picture on, on a website, anything. And you I just hit, post it I hit post it immediately. Yeah. Like, my thumb just goes there. And on our website, when you do that, you're fucked. You yeah. got to back out and go back in. That has to be fixed. Yeah, yep. we have to. That's the hand we were dealt. Yeah. Chubb says, I was at Fort Irwin and I learned that tarantulas actually migrate. It's the weirdest thing to watch like 8,000 tarantulas running across the oh. street. 
So yeah, so uh, my dad was crossing through Las Cruces in Texas, and they have a spot where every year the tarantulas migrate, and it's it's just like that, like hundreds of tarantulas crossing a street. And if you're driving down that street, my dad said he was driving down the street and he had to like run them over, and really? it was like yeah, it was like it was like horrible. This is another because you can actually like hear them cracking under your car and shit like that. Yeah, he's definitely afraid of spiders. Yeah. They're cool, man. Tarantulas are fucking cool. I don't like this map either, Jess. I'm two maps in a row where I can't fucking stand. This map sucks. I hate this game. All right, I'm never playing this game again. Pale says, Fook that. Shroom Grizzly says, Smoking on this cush and passing the fook out. See you, holes. All, All right. right. See you, Shroom Grizzly. How's the sound coming in, guys? We sounding good? This guy's dead, Jess. Someone killed this guy. And it wasn't me. Although I'll claim him as mine. This way... It looks good. Yeah, what the fuck, man? I bet these people probably remember these maps, right? They're the same, like, what, six or seven maps or some shit? People probably like, okay, I know where everything is. I know all the secret rooms are. I know when I'm playing Mystic Moss, I can just make them look really stupid, more stupid than he already is. All right, where the fuck? Where Looks is everybody? Like you're playing Super Nintendo? Super NES. That is quite the reference. Have you ever played Super Nintendo? Yeah, I played Super Nintendo. By the way, Super Nintendo is so it was so here we go. We so overrated. Super Nintendo sucked. Moss, go to some yeah, of those it, generators that aren't done and, and hang by them. Oh, I know. Look, they're 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 already two in. They're two in the books. Yeah, hang by this one over here. What are you doing? I don't know. They're Stop gonna going hear me. to those. They're gonna see I'm blurry and shit. Don't go to those. Go to the ones that aren't done, because they're gonna go over there. Here we go, here we go. Boss, they're running from you. And we're off. You motherfucker. Oh, shit. God damn it. Every time. Ah, uh, they're gone. Come on, dude. Break the fucking thing. Break it. Break it, you shithead. What the fuck? What are you, a big pussy? Oh, destroy is R1. Whoops. Really? I don't fucking know what I'm doing. That's why the, the title of the stream is Shitty Gaming. I don't know what the Go fuck. Go that I'm... generator. They're Man, I did over. so good in the last one. Now I'm fucking doing shitty. Doing shitty all over again. See, that's the problem with me. I, if I don't play a video game for like a week and a half, I completely suck. Like I have to learn the game all over again. That's pretty bad, right? It's pretty pathetic. I don't know why. How do people like... Like, how do people play video games all the time? And Like, if you don't, it's like riding a bike, right? You, you're supposed to just get back on and be fine and good. Not me. I have to learn how to ride the bike again. Can I bash this thing now so I don't drop it in front of my face? All right, no one's dying in this one. You need to go to one of the generators that aren't done yet. Stop. Can I pick a fucking map? Stop it, chasing them. Can I? The next time I load up a game, I'm pretty sure I can pick the fucking map, right? Like, oh, I, I don't like this. I hate this fucking map in the last one. They suck. The other one has too many trees. This one has like too many hallways and shit. I want I want like an open land. Open space, you know? I want to be free to murder. This is like what the fuck? This is... Imagine trying to find someone in this place. How the hell do you find anybody? Stop fucking getting those generators. Because you're not hanging out by the generators. Okay, yeah, let me you said the last time hang out by the door. There, there. Yeah, I know, Jesse. I know it's there, but here's the problem. I'm cloaked. And it takes me about seven look, he's waiting for me now. Fuck. There's the two of them. Oh my goodness. He's got one. Oh, fuck. Did they open the door already? Oh my god, they fucking got the door open already? Where do I go? Where do I fucking go? Which way do I go? Where do they go? Where do oh, they go? this is a disaster. I know, I know it's a disaster. What do you think? I don't know this? Oh. <laughs> this guy's dead already. Shit. I think we titled I just killed this the dead guy. We titled this oh, appropriately. Come on, man. They're gone already. They're out of the fucking place. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The answer is no, Justin. Fuck. Spend countless hours playing Goldeneye? What's Goldeneye? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, fuck. Come on, play, break it. My fucking foot's all bloody. Shit, he went the wrong. I went the wrong way. Went the wrong fucking way, Jess. Right there. 
I know, they're leaving. Son of a bitch, Moss. It's fucking leaving. He's hey. making like a tree and leaving. Wait, wait for him. Cloak yourself. Yeah. No, because he hits the bell. And then he's just like... So cloak yourself. It doesn't matter. They won't see you. Get him, get him. Oh, fuck, dude. Where'd he go? Where'd the bitch oh, go? Oh, man. First person shooter game, James uh, Bond. Oh, no, come on. How'd you run past me? You fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. Pick her up. Pick her up. Pick her up. I used to play, um... Motherfucker. 007 on PS2. Long time ago. It was, like, one of my favorite games. Oh, James my God. Bond. My God, I'm... That's it. I gotta be a victim. I gotta be... I gotta be a, a stranded victim. I can't do this killer shit tonight. Yeah, you're no good. You wanna try it? Nah. Good. Give nah, it a go. I'm good. I don't want to. <sighs> Do you have Tylenol? Do you need it? My fucking head's pounding. Because you've been staring at a screen all day. No, it's not that. It's it is. Allergies are fucking through the roof. Then you need Benadryl, not Tylenol. All right, give me Benadryl. Does it cure headaches? I'm drowsy. Just, can't you just give me Tylenol? No. Why? Because it's allergies. It's not a regular I, headache. I don't know. It's still a headache. It doesn't headache. matter. All right, let's be a victim. Let's, now let's get murdered. Let's try that. If I can't murder, might as well die. Oh, brother. All right, so this is fucking great. Great stuff. Yeah, it's clear. The sound is nice. It's clearer than, than the other streams. Mm, 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 What's up, mm, Timothy? Mm, 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 mm. Timothy Umana? Two scoops, bro. Yeah, so I got to start as a victim and then go murder. Seems like that's the way to go. If he's starting his murder. So let's get out of here. Super Russian attack. Raisin Bran is delicious. Survive. Ugh. Ugh. Raisin Bran is the worst. No, it's good. What do you mean? I hate raisins, but Raisin Bran is I good. do not like raisins in my cereal. But have Whoever you had, came up with the, the you, bizarre fucking no. thought to put raisins in their yes. cereal needs to have be Have you murdered. ever had Raisin Bran? Yes. It's no, horrible. Not the generic one. Yes, Actual raisin bran. Raisin bran. Yes, I don't like it. Why? I don't like raisins it's in my legit, cereal. It's candy. I hate it. You, do you understand that raisin bran no, is... No, you know what candy is? Lucky Charms. No, raisin bran is so fucking covered in sugar that no, you, you no, forget no. you're eating raisins. I I don't forget. I, I know every raisin that, that hits sugar my tongue. Like sugar-coated raisins and oh, nuts and little bleh. flakes. I don't want any raisins. Good. Don't put raisins in my cereal. I don't even like you raisins. You can put marshmallows. You can put chocolate chunks. You can put anything else, but don't put fucking raisins in my cereal. I can't stand raisins. I don't like raisins. Although, raisin bran, I can eat because it's covered in all that other shit. There's a nah. lot of other things going on in there. JVM was a Fruity Pebbles type of gal. Yeah, dude. Fruity Pebbles are good. Cocoa uh, Puffs. See, that shit's crap. Reese's Puffs. That, that shit's crap. Lucky Charms. I'll eat any of that shit. No. Captain Crunch, because but I will stuff, not eat. But they go too bread. far, like that. Oh, Captain no. Crunch! All right, I, I'm with you on Captain that. Crunch is good. But fucking puffs and whatever the fuck, what is it called? Reese's puffs. Reese's puffs. Yeah, they're like little peanut butter puffs and chocolate puffs mixed See, together. Chocolate is delicious, but do not fucking put that in my cereal. Why? Because it's, sugar? it's dessert. Like, so is Raisin Bran. I've never had a chocolate cereal that was good. Raisin Bran is all sugar too. I understand, but it's not chocolate. Chocolate should not be in there. I don't give a flying fuck no. if it's sugar or not. If it's delicious, nope. I will eat it. Nope, chocolate should not be in there. I'm not one of those cereal. people who are like, I ain't gonna watch my Cocoa sugar. Puffs and this uh, and that. No, it's not even that. Raisin Bran's loaded uh, with sugar. And I can't have it because it's sugar. Like, I'm not gonna fucking no, do that. Raisin Bran is loaded with sugar. Okay. But fucking but it's got Cocoa Puffs. In it. Cocoa Puffs? Yeah, they're and delicious. Shit like that. That is just that's just straight up that's like trash. I have a like I have a box of cocoa pebbles up in our cabinet right now. Yeah, it's it's trash. They're so good. I love the cocoa trash. pebbles. Oh, uh, cinnamon toast crunch is good. That's good. Yes. I like cinnamon toast crunch. And that's very sweet too, but you can't yes. put the sugar you can't put the uh the chocolate in there. We you have know, cinnamon toast crunch. There's no, there's no sense to put chocolate in your fucking cereal. I love chocolate in my cereal. Chocolate in your cereal. My God, what are you doing? Like chocolate is so delicious, right? Yeah. You don't That's why put I it, like it. But you don't put it with your cereal. Yeah. You don't. It's stupid. Could you? So you don't do it. You don't do there's it. There's nothing Same better for than waking up in the morning and the first thing that hits your tongue is chocolate. Frosted Flakes is good. That's a sugary treat. Frosted Flakes is good. Yes. Right? That's good. Yes. That's Wait. good. I like it when the Frosted Flakes hit the milk and, and like it gets a little soggy. Like, you know, like when oh, it, it starts to get like a little limp. It's like shit. 
The Frosted Flakes? Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about... No, chocolate. Frosted Flakes. When they hit the milk and they get like a little limp, that's the best version of Frosted yeah, it's Flakes. Good. Yeah. I haven't had Frosted Flakes since I was a kid. Yeah. It's been a long time. Dude, Count Chocula, My, MMAKO. That shit is fire. See, I can't eat that. I I'd rather, love Count I'd Chocula. I'd rather bash my head against the wall than eat that. I don't understand how you cannot it like chocolate like cereal. Shit. Like, to me, it tastes oh, like so much shit in my cereal. Like, I'm like, eating it, I'm like, what is this? Like, it's just, because it, it, it ruins chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Why? a good piece of chocolate's delicious. Cake, ice cream, Well, it's not supposed cream, to be like a Hershey candy, bar. But you put it in cereal, it tastes like this mucky, like, I feel like I'm eating a fucking muddy You know muddy what the puddle. best part of chocolate cereal is? After you're done with the cereal and the milk turns into chocolate. Oh, fucking eggs. Kill oh, me. Oh, it's the best. You stab me in the face. I can't do that. I can't do that. It's, it tastes like I'm eating a fucking dirt puddle. So, what? No, it doesn't. Yes, it feels it like. It doesn't taste like dirt. Like someone just took a, a, a diarrhea it of my fucking. It tastes like chocolate and no. sugar and milk. Cereal's so good. Why ruin it? Why ruin it with raisins? Well, ru raisins, you know. Raisins ruin cereal. <laughs> Raisin bran. It's the brand. You can't, you can't fuck with so the brand. So we'll agree to disagree. When I was a kid, I I was so against raisins. I was so against raisin bran. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a big but raisin. Then I got brand. a little older. I'm like, oh, raisin bran's actually not that bad. No, I'm not a big raisin fan. It's not my go-to though. Oh, oh, honey nut Cheerios. No, 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 no. Hold on. Oh's. It's the round, the little round cereal thingy, and then in the in the center of this of the little round guy, I've there's never a heard cluster of, that. of nuts. It's O's? O's. Oh. I've never heard of that. God. Let that soak in the milk a little bit. Moisten up. Because if, if you have it's it a too round quick. It's like a Cheerio? Round, it's, like a, it's like a big Cheerio. It's like a Cheerio on steroids. But you put the little little oats and, and nuts in the middle of it. Yeah, I've never you heard of that. You fucking throw it in your face. But it's got to soak in the milk a little bit. Because if it's too hard, your teeth feel like they're going to crack open. Yeah. You need to let the milk get in there. And you fucking scoop that into your face. Yeah, never had that before. But I, I'd be willing to try it. It's delicious. It's very expensive, though. It sucks, man. Like you have to wait for a sale. Apple oh, Jacks. You know, fun, fun fact. I like Fruit Loops, but I was never the biggest Apple Jacks fan. Yeah, I can't do Apple Jacks. I don't know why. It's, it's it's essentially the same thing. It's just cinnamon. But I just maybe it's just the fact that it's cinnamon. I don't know. I I am not a. But I can eat like maple and brown sugar oatmeal. Yeah, Apple Jacks. It just feels like my teeth are gonna fall out of my head every I don't time like I take Apple a bite Jacks. of it. Yeah, I think it's just like the taste, the flavor. I don't know. Bro, Nicole, honeycombs are the best. I love honeycombs. Just try to survive. Basically, any sugar cereal I like, as long as there's no fucking raisins in it. I when I eat cereal, I get the biggest bowl I can find and and put I put half the box of cereal. Yeah, he overdoes in it. one portion. <laughs> I eat half a box of cereal every every serving. I <laughs> I have to pour cereal, cereal for him so that he eats a, a normal portion. Yeah, I put half a box. <laughs> one box of cereal is two servings for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so O's is like what? It's almost like five bucks a box. I've like never had O's a before. Oh, this is good. It does sound good. It's really good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Uh, cereal like eating Sour Patch Kids for breakfast. Yeah, bro. I any I would eat sugar cereal every day if if I didn't live with Moss Ooh. because he's not a big sugary cereal fan. I could eat plain Cheerios. It'd be fine. Yeah, I'd throw some strawberries in there. It's delicious. If I didn't live with him, I'd be eating sugary cereal every fucking day because I get I don't give a fuck. It is so good. What's that protein cereal that we've been eating? That's good. Oh, but that's not sugary cereal. That's that's like healthy. But still, it's got sugar. We in get it. this. Um, it's not healthy. It is. It is. Uh, it's one of those like. It's not healthy. Well, healthier. It's not like. No cereal. It's healthy. one of those like special K cereals that have like 20 grams of protein, and it's supposed to have like like 70 percent less sugar than normal cereal. It's like one of those healthy healthier ones, but I'm not I'm the biggest fan later. of it. Let's it's go. Healthy. By the way, this character looks like the Bulgarian cowboy. This guy here. See? Doesn't he look like him? Chudesno? Chudesno. Chudesno. That's why I like using him. I, I'm using Chudesno. Kashi Let's, cereal. Isn't Kashi cereal one of those healthier ones too? What about that company that... Oh, fuck. Worst cereal ever is Grape Nuts. Grape Nuts? Frosted Mini Wheats is Goat. Frosted oh, mini wheats. I don't like you. Oh, she goes. She goes over. She go. She steps over. She just stepped over with ease. Let's go. Ah, she fucking going. steps over shit. This bitch steps over shit. So oh, drunk. Like the her. only thing I don't like about frosted mini wheats is one side has sugar and the other side doesn't. So I have oh, to like. Fuck. That was stupid. Flip it to make sure that the sugary side fuck hits me. my tongue. 
There really is no healthy cereal. The best thing is just basically oatmeal. Yeah, like like regular oatmeal. Yeah, there's cereal is just loaded with sugar regardless. But you can find healthier options in cereal. Like if you if you are the type of person that like to eat cereal every day, there are healthier options. But no cereal really is is the healthiest for you. There was a kind. Oh my god. Fuck. Jesse, did you really bro me? Wouldn't I be the sister, not the bro? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I always say I always say bro to everybody. I even say bro to Chris sometimes. There's a company that we reached out to a little while back. Remember that cereal company that we tried to get a sponsor from? Um, what were they called? They were, they were like a super healthy cereal type deal. There was? Percy. Yeah, they were like a puff. Like they were... I they, can't remember. Their ingredients actually were, were awesome. I can't remember anymore. But Thanks a lot. Now I need cereal. Yeah, I'm I'm like you know, craving cereal, cereal now. Get some O's. All right, here we go. I like being the survivor. Kashi's made from grains and O's. Like running. Yeah, that's a, I, I think I've heard of the Kashi brand cereals. Fuck me, man. God damn, I suck at this game. Bro is gender, gender neutral. That's how I use it. I use it for everybody. AOC's green new cereal, says Kainoto. Grape nuts is brand shaped into rabbit looking turds. Let's try that one. Oh, God. Damn it. I, I, oh my God, I'm so bad at this game. What's that noise? Do you guys try out your sponsors' products before you advertise them? Yes. We don't promote any sponsors that we don't um, enjoy their product. Yeah, that pillow place is supposed to send us something. Spoonie. That Spoonie that was supposed to jump. Yeah, they're sending us something. I don't think they will, though, to be honest. We'll see. Frosted MMA flakes. We should have an MMA holes cereal. Shit. This bitch is floating around. Why do ducks have tail feathers to cover their butt quacks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny guy. Uncle Boss, you use goat milk? Uh, BLT says, only the bidet, Justin. Yeah, Obi-Wan. So, yeah, I, I could repair the, uh, the generators, but what happens is when you fuck up, like, it, an explosion comes up, and the monster sees it and can come right to you. Then why did you sponsor Timeless, but then you say you never lie about a sponsor? Because we believed in Timeless. Yeah. We actually believed in them in the beginning. And then sure. we found out later that they were lying to us. We so didn't. So when Timeless came around, we didn't. Is that fucking Justin again? Yeah, because he's so... I'm telling you, this kid has... He what has is, nothing positive to say. He is, he is always right, constantly me, critical. All right, all right. Justin, why do you criticize everything? everything or you have like you do realize that trait is very karen like right like everything that comes out of your mouth is some sort of weird criticism or stuff like or try to get someone into a lie or whatever like it's it's a bizarre thing like can we have a normal conversation where we're not trying to fucking talk down to adults like it doesn't make any sense i i it's i've had five, enough with this kid like i it's every listen i know he's, he's a child so i don't give a fuck if you're gonna come into an adult stream and try to speaking like an adult then you're gonna get treated like one Okay. It's not enough to get mad about. It's just, no, I, I'm, I'm not curious. Mad. I'm just saying. Okay, but isn't it interesting, right? No, I find that it very someone, annoying. That someone that's 13 years old has nothing but negative things to say or ask, right? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So I'm just trying to find out what the reasoning behind it is. That's all. I don't. I couldn't give two fucks what he says, to He's be so honest. frustrating. But I'm just saying, let's let's get behind it. Behind. Ellie's going to toss Cheerios all over the kitchen. Okay. Let's try to get back into this game. Uh, some people judge everything on the mistakes instead of the progress. It's sort of a natural thing of this generation. It's yeah. so stupid, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's just like a it's like a dark cloud. So it's like wherever you go, you're gonna be known for the guy that's just fucking criticizing everything and the Debbie Downer and like why would you want to be known as that guy? It doesn't I mean maybe you do want to be known as that, but I never understood that. Like the weird trait. But everyone's got their thing, right? Let's fix this generator. Come on. What do you call someone who refuses to fart in public? A private tutor. Ah! <laughs> Funny guy. MMA whole cereal and Ganu nuggets and Connor clovers, Mystic marshmallows and Jesse Bell berries. I love it. I love it all, Trent. Let's fix let's, this fucking thing. Let's, uh, let's get it trademarked. Let's fix this generator, guys. My hands are sweating. Oh, someone's down. Someone's down. Someone is down. I'll save them after I fucking get this generator. So is Justin the Karen of the stream? Yes, there's no doubt in my mind. Droopyisms is Kainoto. I'm positive at times. No, you're not. No, you're not. More and more, I would say 
80% negative, 20% positive, I would say that. I mean, listen, you don't always have to be jolly and happy. I'm not saying that, but it just seems like every time we drop in the chat and see what you're saying, you're like, fuck. Now I'm going to die. It's just, it's always usually something negative. So it's just like, what the fuck? Why don't oysters share their pearls? Because they're shellfish. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ. I suck so bad. Oh, uh, that was a funny thing, Mons. I'm about to get hung. I'm about to get hung. T Sparks is easier to fix the generator than this upcoming generation. <laughs> Shots fired. Yeah, it's Shots a bummer, man. Fired. Okay, so at least I got a generator done. Every box of frosty MMA holes oh, comes shit, with a hundred likes inside. I like that. All right, they they took them off. All right, so someone was hung. There's three people dead already. Oh man. I think it's just me and two other people like what the fuck how do i know like can you figure it out jess what do you mean is there someone how do you know how many people are left it says it on your left side by the way I, we got this in stereo now too no but like how many people are left like uh, you, it's just you no there's someone else there look on the left side they're all crossed out that's what it looks like but there was there's another guy running around oh the guy on the bottom oh shit oh they're all injured they're not dead yet Everyone's still alive. There's still three more people. What the fuck was that noise? All right, I'll wait for someone to get hung and I'll save them. So I, I'm I'm running around wounded and shit. I gotta look for more generators. Is Reyes gonna slaughter Prochotska? Um, Yuri is a badass motherfucker, man. Someone got dropped. I don't know. Shit, I gotta I gotta see what's up. Fuck. All right, let me try to save this person. Shit. You're hung up. You're all hung up on this. All right, let me try to be a hero. Oh, shit, they're dead. Okay. Well, that didn't work. That did not work. Shit. I just saw someone die, guys. I just Being saw someone negative die. and critical is a telltale sign of a higher than average IQ. That's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very debatable. So, Johnny says, powerful delivery, Christopher. Amazing and to the point. Jess, I dropped you DM. All right, I'll check it. Uh, is it on Discord? I'll check it in a few minutes. I don't have my phone with me right oh, now. Here we go. Yo, dude, heal me up, bro. Heal me up. Maybe oh, okay. when I go make dinner or something, Nicole, I'll, I'll check it. What the fuck just happened? Oh, he fucked up healing me. Someone's coming, dude. Oh, we got to get out of here. Oh, my Run! God, dude. Run, Moss. Run. Yes, ma'am. All right, I'll check when I go um, do dinner. My phone's downstairs. Uh, what the hell is Discord? Discord, you can uh, join on our... If you uh, become a patron, it's a private Discord where everyone just kind of hangs out and... Dude, this guy fucking almost got me killed, man. Is anything safe any, any more, BLT? Expose the DMs. What DMs? Damn. Is he giving you a hand job? Yeah, that's what happens. You get hand jobs. And uh, you get all healed up. Mm -hmm. Uncle Boss, sorry, no, I will not share. Okay, come on, boys. Let's get this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fix this thing. It's a big chat room. Yeah, that's, the Discord's just a big place for, well, it's not like huge, but it's a place for like community members who want to hang out outside of the show times and stuff like that and just drop stupid memes and have conversations. Mystic Roots has a CBD cereal. It's super calming, bro. MMA holes by day, gamers by night. Here we go. Moss really likes his games. Here we go. If two vegans fight, is it still considered a beef? Ah! <laughs> Funny guy. Uh, can you read my last comment, please? Nah, I don't feel like scrolling up. Two joint says, ha 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 ha, pale bro. Did you guys hear about Rachel Ostrich time with BKFC? Yes, we heard about that. Andre Angle says, how do you embarrass an archaeologist? Give him a used tampon and ask him which period it came from. <laughs> Moz, you got to get the laughing soundtracks to this. Oh, I'm, I, I, my hands are soaked in sweat right now. I'm almost fixing. I'm almost done with this, this generator over here. When you having the baby, is this a hoax? Yes, it's a hoax. Blood! Wonderful, wonderful. Your niggas catch the new Mortal Kombat movie? 
The build-up was that great, but I feel the movie lacked a bit. Yeah. The Sub-Zero and Scorpion rivalry was good, though. It had its parts, but what did you guys think? I We were talking about it in the beginning of the stream. I expected it to be shit, right? And it was, but I enjoyed it for what it was. Like, mm -hmm. it was trash. It was hot trash, and that's what I expected, and that's what I got, and I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed every minute of it. I don't know why. I was just so... I was more into this than I was with uh, King Kong and Godzilla. Yeah, so, Chubbs, unfortunately, the uh, YouTube memberships, they don't... They're dropped. not connected to Discord. So, Patreon is just, like, a separate um, way of supporting us, and it's... The only reason is because Patreon is connected to Discord. So, like, once you sign up through Patreon, then you get automatic access into Discord. We don't control the YouTube memberships. YouTube does. So we would never be able to connect those two. Otherwise, we would. All right. So there's one guy left. He couldn't fucking heal me. I'm going to try to go in and save him all injured and shit. I'm doing all the work around here. Baby H isn't pregnant. She just worked up a serious beer gut. It's true. Shit. The guy's here. Fuck, he's here soon. He's like right here. He's, he's probably... Oh my god. I hear the fucking dramatic music. Wait, he got off. Motherfucker got off. Oh shit. Dude, don't run past me, bro. Oh my god, he just... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Just ran right by me. I'm hiding in a bush, guys. And the bitch just ran right by me. Oh, fuck. I just you... burned 2,000 calories. That's the last time I leave the brownies on the oven while I nap. <laughs> fuck, I was literally right this by the hook. This guy is funny. I was right by the hook. Moss, what do you call a blonde who's doing a handstand? Ah, oh, fuck. This is an old one. I don't remember. A brunette with bad breath. <laughs> ah. Ha 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 ha! Oh fuck me! God damn it! Son of a bitch! Uh, Steve Sparks a lot, bro. Lil T says, "LOL." Chubb says, "Kano was the best part of that movie." Oh yeah, that Australian guy was hilarious. Moss liked his sarcasm. Yeah, that guy was great. Actually, yeah, that guy was really good. Let's unlock this box. Wow, drunk! I didn't know. Congrats to Chrome. Yeah, Chrome is, Chrome is on number six now, man. What is he doing? That's crazy. Oh, I could heal myself. How do I heal myself? Uh, R two. Oh fuck! Canada will never reveal the secret to calling in from the Great White North. I'm like right by a hook. Oh my god, dude! What am I doing? Oh shit, you can see me. You can you can see me. Okay. Oh. Okay. Get out of there. You can see me. You can fucking see me. Ah. Oh. Shit. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh, I got around this far. So, oh, yeah, that's that's not good. Oh boy. Son of a bitch, man. Son of a fucking bitch. You know, that fucking guy. Oh, here he comes. Come on, we're almost off. We're almost off. No, no! Man, I avoided the hook the whole game. Alright, dude. Oh, uh, he's gonna fucking... Oh, man. Alright, old man. Yeah, I know, I know. I know I can, but let's see if this guy... Alright, let's see if old man's gonna... Oh, he's gonna get up. Dude, you're right there, bro. Come on, come down the stairs. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I need a hero. Oh, shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> no. No. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh, you just cleared out the whole crew. Did that guy get away? Oh, fuck. Shit. God damn it. I have one more shot here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Where is he? Where is he? No. 
Oh no! Oh god, we got so close! Come on! I'm not in good shape, guys. Up! Stop coughing, dude. <laughs> no, no. Let's go. Let's go. Shit, he got fucking dropped. All right, stop coughing, man. Got the coronavirus. Did the door just open? What is that over there? Oh man, I guess I gotta save that guy, right? Fuck, I'm, I'm, oh, I, I got poison or some shit. Shit, I got. Dude, oh, I can't fucking save myself. Oh, I'm fucking puking. Why can't I save myself? Oh, I gotta help that guy. God damn it. Shit. I got the fucking coronavirus. <laughs> oh no! Oh! He... Oh fuck. Oh shit, it's only me now. How do I get rid of this? Stop coughing, dude. Go, go. He's playing a game, go, 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 go! Run! Run, Corona! M -m 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 my corona Fuck. Oh my god. I'm fucking I'm fucking running over here. Oh, stop spitting on me. Wear a mask. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not good. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. I'm just I can't stop puking. Oh god! Shit. I gotta get out of Oh no! Come on, <laughs> Oh you're not shit. even a good you're not even I was a good survivor either what do you mean i was the last person i was Come the last on. freaking person you better struggle oh. off that thing ah oh, moss fucking good you killed. should be ashamed. i did better in this game than the other ones though so i'm good <laughs> Fuck. oh my god chris it looks like you ate too much of jbm's casserole uh, life is like toilet paper. You either on a roll or taking shit from someone else. All right, let's take a break. Let's take a quick break here. By the way, Jesse, don't get the vaccine while you're breastfeeding. I've been hearing oh. some not so good things. Well, I'm probably not going to be getting the vaccine anytime soon anyways. Um, just because, like, I'm just talking to our doctor and stuff. It's probably not the smartest thing to do right when she's born. But eventually, like, down the road... Maybe like six or twelve months from now, we can consider it. Yeah, but, uh, eventually we'll see what happens. I'm yeah. kind of holding. I was supposed to get. Man, I was supposed to get. The You're supposed to get your flu shot. To get the flu shot and whooping cough and. Well, you don't have to get the whoop. I mean, you should get the whooping <laughs> I'm cough. I'm supposed to get all but, these shots and I didn't get anything. But I think hopefully, you know, knock on wood, nothing I'm happens. I'm great. I'm golden. Uh, no vaccine. You got to wear a mask anyways. <laughs> Yeah, the only reason is because this Johnson & Johnson vaccine that they're doing right now, like, I know that there's only, like, a 0.0008% chance, but they had this, like, the whole thing with the blood clots and stuff like that, which is kind of scary. The vaccine, I think when it's time to start doing events and shit like that, and, you know, we kind of have no choice, or when we're traveling and shit. Or like, when they get, when they don't have any issues from it. I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm in no rush, to be honest, but... I do want to see my parents. They got the vaccine shit, so I guess they're all right. But they right? got the vaccine, yeah. So yeah, if know. anything, they should I be I was fine. listening to Howard Stern the other day, and uh, this woman calls up, and she's bawling. Absolutely bawling. Well, how old was her husband? Uh, 35. 35. 35 years old. Died of the coronavirus. You know, I know some people probably won't believe it, but um, crying but and it was, sobbing. She said that he got the vaccine, um, and then a couple days later is when he... Yeah, so apparently she got the coronavirus before the vaccine got a chance. To, he got the coronavirus before the she vaccine. She thinks he did, but she doesn't know. Yeah, who knows? But, but she's like, she's begging. She's like, everyone get the vaccine, please. But he please. got the vaccine, and then two or three days later, he. I don't fucking know, man. He you died. see that event that happened, and everyone's fine. I don't fucking know. 
kind of weird that you get the vaccine and then and then you die. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to think. But I'm not um I'm not in a rush. When push comes to shove, if I have no choice, then I'm open to it. I'm not against it, but I, I didn't get the flu shot. Like I never fucking got the flu shot. Or I haven't got one in years. When was the last time you got a flu shot? I never got a flu shot. Really? Never. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not a huge vaccine person, but I get it. I get it. But the flu shot, I think, is a little different. I've never once gotten the flu shot. Not once. But I I don't know. I I think, um, I don't know. I don't know. Parents that deny their children uh, their vaccine are sadistic. Well, if you're denying your children, like, common vaccines, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But this is a very new vaccine, so... I I wouldn't I wouldn't be putting the COVID vaccine in my own child. She's gonna get all her other vaccines, but she's not getting the COVID vaccine. I don't know what to fucking think, man. I have no idea. I got my cousin is you know he got his uh, vaccine, the Johnson and Johnson, and you know some people they need the vaccine, right? They need it to for peace of mind to get out there and and be able to do things again. I don't know what to think. I I really have I have no idea what to think. Moss, how come you haven't played prominence poker in a while? I could play it. But how but, come you uh, haven't? Because um. Wonderful, I like wonderful. fucking at this game. I like, I like to suck. When it comes to a vaccine, I don't want to hear from my doctor. This is the safest one, bro. No cap. <laughs> I want to hear this vaccine has a 100% success rate and has had zero issues. Yeah. That's what they get for pushing it so fast. Yeah, Look how I small agree. I am. Look at this, Jesse. You're so tiny. <laughs> Jesse doesn't want to be on, so... Should I just do Tiny Moss? So Why didn't every time, you check that scene? So every time you uh, guys donate, you're going to get Tiny Moss. <laughs> okay. Very good. Tiny Moss. I'm going to be on top of the head rush and the sponsors. Okay? So every time you donate, here I am. <laughs> There's Tiny Moss. <laughs> hey, guys. You're so cute. Uh, okay, so when it comes to the vaccine, I don't want to hear from my doctor. This is the safest one, bro. No cap. <laughs> Imagine your doctor says no cap. I would immediately get a new doctor. I... My doctor is not my doctor anymore. I don't. I'm not going back to that chick. Uh huh. That was weird, man. I had a chick. She, her face was all Botoxed up, and she was like, she was anti everything. Like when the when the coronavirus was like a go. Wait, man, who? That fucking doctor. My my uh, the regular doctor when we came to Arizona. The blonde. Oh. Yeah. She hears us with dying laugh, and I'm like, I'm like, this is not a doctor's visit. This is like a fucking. This no, is like a she's date. just really nice. <laughs> it was weird, man. Not so, like. The doctors here in Arizona are nicer than yeah, the doctors in, weird, in New York. They're like, oh, just uh, take some of this medicine and you'll be all right. And then they kick you out. <laughs> all right. Tiny Moss is going back to the scene. All right. It was a weird. Are you getting hungry? Uh, what are we going to eat? Some cereal? No, I was going to do um, grilled chicken with cream spinach and baked beans. Grilled chicken, cream spinach. And baked beans. Uh, Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah, we probably should eat since it's almost nine o'clock. Why not? Yes. Yes, that would make sense. I'll take credit credit creditable over nice every time. Yeah. 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 I had I've had surgeons that were like complete assholes, but were great. And then my last surgeon, who was like the surgeon for the the Mets and the New York Giants, he was a big hospital, NYU, the whole deal was super nice. Mm-hmm. And that's the reason why I have this scar over here. My fucking biceps not attached to my shoulder anymore. Yeah. But the other guy was a real asshole. And my other shoulder is great. It's usually the case. Yeah. Who cares if the doctor's nice? Just get me fixed. But nice doctors help. No, they don't because they're not, they're not, they're not helping you. They're encouraging you probably to do something bad. Like you know? what? Like this last doctor that I went to. The only thing that she did say that what I did need to stress What did she encourage you to do that was bad? Not wear a mask, right? She said she, she didn't the, encourage that. You're lying. We got in the office and nah. there was like, I, I sat, so I sat down. This is when in the peak. Now, now she said she doesn't. Now I don't want to wear a mask anymore. Now I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah. But this is when the coronavirus is going crazy, right? Everyone had to wear a mask. It was like ah craziness, right? And we first ca- came into Arizona. We went cross country. We're like thinking that this is it's the end of the world. And my friend just died, and this whole thing, and. uh I'm, I, we go into the office. The reception is no mask. She's like, I could wear a mask if you she want. To, yeah, she told us. She's like, we have a no mask mandate. Or she said, we don't have a uh, mask uh, policy here. Yeah, it was weird. She's like, but if it would make you guys feel more comfortable, we can put masks on. So we ripped them off. 
<laughs> we took the mask right off. Like they, because, they're not unprofessional. They did tell us yeah. like if you're more comfortable with the mask that they would. But put... this was in when when it was so unknown, right? Well, but people no, were dropping was, like flies, and the media was going crazy. And... Like the end of summer, it was so... bad. That, when we went, it was bad. It was fucking bad. But like it, like two knuckleheads, we were like, ah, who gives a fuck? Threw the mask off because it was like, yes, you don't have to wear a fucking mask. And then there was I, nobody in there. If there were people in there, I probably would have worn the mask. Then I went into the office. I'm looking at her, and I'm like, "You don't believe in a mask at all, huh?" You, like, no. She's like, like that. Then she pulls out a fucking Trump flag, and she said, "No, no, <laughs> no she didn't." <laughs> she said, "Say MAGA and shit." No, um, and she was like, um, she's like, mm-hmm. she's like, if you feel uncomfortable, you know, I'll put one on. And, and at that point, I'm like, I'm a man. I don't need no fucking mask. But in reality, what were you I'm thinking? Put no mask on. Look at his beard. Does his beard put a mask on? I'm not gonna let a woman not wear a mask and a man wear a mask. That's so a I stupid there. reason. Well, not I, to wear I, you a mask. know, I didn't want to. You know, I didn't want to look like a pussy. <laughs> so I'm sitting there. I'm like, all right, it's fake. Let's yeah. go. And then she starts like talking about conspiracies and shit. And when your doctor starts talking about conspiracies, you have to start realizing. Wait, hold on a second. I'm at the wrong fucking doctor. She Wait, what, trying what shit conspiracies? Out. She wasn't talking about ah, conspiracies. Yeah, she was talking about her kid and conspiracies. And she was talking about how she found weed and her kid's fucking... That's not a conspiracy. No, it was a conspiracy. Uh, no, don't worry. Come on. What do I... Why do you got to say no to everything? Why do I have to go with, like, I dive know, deep into the story? I like she's, like, a quack. She's a quack. There's no doubt. I don't she's think a she's a quack. Her face is all Botox. And speaking of quack, she had duck lips. So she was, like, quacking on me. Like, <laughs> she... She had fucking duck lip. The <laughs> whole deal. I'm like looking at her. I'm like, this is fucking crazy, man. Was... Bleach blonde hair. Like her, her. she had a push-up bra on. I'm like, what is going on? She's, you mind if I take this off? Her fucking titties are hanging out. I'm like, what's this? She said that? Yeah. So She said, and then you she mind hears if I take in the this other off? Room, no, you did not tell me that. Because I'm cracking jokes. I'm like, well, if you're all Botox up. You didn't crack- tell me. She said, do you mind if I take this off? Well, she was getting hot. She's like, it's so hot in here. Yeah. You did not tell me that. No, she didn't have her fucking mask on. You're her, joking. Her doctor's gear on. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm serious. Nothing happened. Don't worry. Do you mind if I take this off? Why would yeah. she even ask you in the first well, place? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I might get uncomfortable. <laughs> Guess which doctor you're never seeing again. <laughs> it was a weird, it was a weird experience, man. It was strange. But I mean, I guess she was just trying to be personable and friendly. Do you mind if I take that. this off? You didn't tell me that. You didn't and tell then, me and then we start talking about YouTube. She goes, she goes, what do you do for a living? I'm like, oh fuck. I hate when people ask that. I gotta come up with another job. I gotta say, what do we do? I'm a uh, waste management. What should I say? What should we say our job is? Because this is getting stupid. Like you say, hey, you're, you, what do you do for a living? Let's make something. What do you want to say? What we do? Waste Doc- management. Doctors. Waste but then management. Then again, when they see our insurance, they know that we're not fucking doctors. We basically have fucking Obamacare insurance. Waste management. Then we, they'll think we're fucking, we're in the mafia. Which, what do you guys, give me something to say that we do. What's a good job to say that no one gives a fuck about? We flip burgers? You want to just say that? Yeah. McDonald's, I'm not proud we work at McDonald's. Well, actually, it's a, it's a, still, it's, it's a decent job, right? Getting paid. I don't want to say podcaster, man. I'm, I'm sick of, because then it, it, we go down, down this rabbit hole. The problem is our studio. So when people come over, like there's no hiding our fucking studio. So the guy that did the air conditioning, at the end of the whole job, we avoided the whole conversation. There you go, Rye. We're in online sales. Online sales. We work from home, online sales. Jehovah Witnesses. We're full-time Jehovah Witnesses. We sell advertising. That's a good one. Advertising. Yeah, all right. that's not bad. Okay. Or should I go back and tell people that I'm, I'm a mascot for uh, one of the big sporting teams? So I used to tell girls back in the day. So you're a mascot? A mascot, yeah. That's pretty stupid. Well, it that's what fun. a 20-year-old would say. Well, I was 20 when I said it. Yeah, but now you're 44. So. I'm a 40-year-old mascot. I'm good at my job. <laughs> I've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, oh, the, I, I'm the Philly fanatic. I'm Mr. Matt. That's me. Yeah, say so you're a security guard, Moss. I'm a security guard. Yeah, you work for a security... Um... I work for Best Buy. I'm Best Buy security. Yeah. Well, I'm the guy that returns the carts at the grocery store. Cartnark? I'm the cart narc. Yeah. Just say you make porn. Oh, I'm sure she would love that since she asked for his permission to take her fucking shirt off. Yeah, we got into a whole YouTube conversation. I was thinking about starting a YouTube channel. They all say that. I was like, who are you really? Try OnlyFans. Might do better with that. Maybe OnlyFans would work. 
Ah, eh, Justin's not. It's not all it's cracked up to be. But at your age, it's great. I would say, yeah, go for it. Try to, you know, get monetized and shit. It's awesome. And then when you figure it all out, by the time you're our age, you'll be set. At our age, starting at 39 is like, it's like a nightmare. It's a fun nightmare. It's a, it's a challenge, but. Moss used to be mascot at Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck, you know, fun <laughs> fact, I've never been to Chuck E. Cheese. What? I've never been. I've, I've been. Chuck E. Cheese was like the place I've to go when you're a kid. I've b- delivered to a Chuck E. Cheese before. Yeah. And I and I remember it smelled like a giant foot. Well, yeah, because it's it's not it's the disgusting. cleanest place in the world. Yeah, so it's just like I guess it's cheese. But and kids children. don't care. Kids, kids stink. When you're, what when are you gonna do with Ellie when she starts smelling, man? Why kids smell? Kids smell. Girls don't really smell yeah, like do. guys they do. Smell. No, kids they smell. don't. Like you ever go to someone's house and they have a kid, they stink. Why the house? Girls stinks. don't really smell like guys. Smell. They shit. Boys smell like when boys hit that age, they fucking stink. I don't know what it is. My brothers always stunk. But kids smell like kids like they they leave an odor like a kid odor. No, they don't. And you teach them to fucking clean themselves. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Every time you go to someone's house, they don't leave an odor. You smell the kid, you know? No, you don't. Yeah, our kid, house gonna smell a kid. <laughs> oh god. Fuck. Major surgery. Content uh, can make a full cover so I can continue to watch. Wish you and the chat the best. North South. I hope you. Hmm. What kind of surgery, man? What are you getting done? <clears throat> get a boob job no i hope i'm i'm kidding i hope uh i hope it goes well i've been through many of surgeries they suck man I'm take not... him to the ball pit and let him roll it out <laughs> man oh man the ball pit was sucks. the best part but it's it's like the it's the um it's the uh the germiest place the ball pit i don't think ball pits exist anymore gonna have to stop cussing <sighs> when ellie comes here both of you learn about it fellas fuck no what the fuck what the fuck do you think? My parents cussed in front of me and their parents cussed in front of them. What do you think this is? I could turn it off. What the fuck? It's crazy because I do. I curse like a... I, you, you clean know, up your it. language telling me how to be a parent. You're not going to curse in front of her. You I'm going to do not. my best, yeah, but things will slip. You're not going to do it. I know you're not. Things will definitely slip, especially gonna, as she gets older. You're not going to curse in front of her. You're going to be a good You're gonna be a good mom, Jess. All right, I, I think see. cursing in front of the kids all right. It's not going to kill them. They're not going to fucking die because they hear. You think they're not hearing curse words at school? But you like, use like fuck? fuck as a comma. Like like you no, say I don't. like you use it as like like a punctuation. Like you, it, it's just like quote, like you the f bomb is something that you just yeah? it's in the middle of the sentence. Do you have a problem with that? I do have a fucking problem with that. Yeah. Her brother That's too. What I her thought. brothers worse than her. Yeah, they are. So don't give me shit. Yeah, it was crazy. It was like like between every other word is the f bomb. But they're in the Marine Corps; they do that all the time. That's not true. It is when we I've went had to friends their, that are Marines. When we went to their graduation, everyone that we met there, all the Marines, did the same thing. It was like yeah. fucking in between, in between, in between every single the, word. Like it's I never heard of that before. Yeah. Yeah, I have um, I had a couple of friends that were in the Marines. They didn't do that. But they cursed, yeah. But they didn't throw like a, an f bomb. But they say if you curse a lot, you're actually. Higher IQ for some fucking reason, as I just say fucking. Um, that's not true with me. But I never really cursed in front of my parents. Now I slip all the time. I did when I got older. When I was, yeah, when I was like at the age where I was leaving the house is when I started cursing in front of my parents. Did you guys, anyone that has kids, you curse in front of your kids or other people's kids? But then again, when I did photography, I was great, man. I shut it right off. I cursed in front of my niece. <laughs> And yeah, she was niece. like, she was like three years old. Yeah, but your niece is already, she's already doomed. <laughs> no, she's not. Yeah, she's Don't doomed. Don't say that. Yeah. She's not doomed. She's doomed. That kid is a mess, right? How is she a mess? I don't know. She's got like a whole fucked up she's story. She's a young child. Yeah, but she's. And yeah. she's in a stable family now. Oh, now. How old is she? Now she's seven. Yeah. When and you're she seven, got into a stable family at four. But you still so remember. So it's early enough. You still remember that stuff. So what's going to happen? She'll be fine, Chris. She's going to hit a certain Why age. Why would you say that? Hold on. She's going to hit a certain age, and then she's going to use that little time period as an excuse. She's not even going to remember it. You'd be surprised. She doesn't even remember who her mother is. You'd be surprised. Stop Kids it. remember a lot. That's another thing that we have to realize. Even when they're little fucking balls of, like, lumped, a lump of skin, they still, they're still they still there downloading information. I hope she does. They I are. hope she does. I fucking hope she does. Did you really have to say the F word there, Jess? I did. Let's practice. I fucking did. <laughs> Don't tell me how to fucking be a parent. Man, what is going on here? Why are you cursing so much? We got a kick coming. Because I don't need permission from anybody. Man. The fuck? Why are you saying it again? Because it bothers you so much. Try not to say it. No. Because if I try not to say it, then it's just going to be worse. I'll give you a shiny $10 bill. I don't need your $10 bill. If the rest of the stream, you do not say one F-bomb. I'm good. A shiny $10 bill. I'm actually not going to stay for the rest of the stream. I'm going to go make dinner soon. 
All right, let's try this again. Um, I am not going to not curse, Justin. So please stop asking because it's really annoying. He what? He but he's a kid. I don't give a fuck. You should be ju- you should be oh, cursing oh, in front. Said it again. So when Ellie goes to school and the mm-hmm. principal says your daughter was was cursing and calling everyone say, the f word, I'm gonna pat her on the back. Well, first I'm gonna ask her. I'm gonna say, why did you say the bad word? And if she gives me a valid reason, because my teacher is a fucking cunt, then I'm gonna say, good job. By the way, we were watching the good South job, Park. Good job, child. Yesterday, what was the South Park we were watching? It was so freaking funny. Uh, the I'm gonna slap you guy. Yeah, they the... walked into the house and this guy was on <laughs> this like fucking sex slave. This this gay <laughs> this gay sex slave was just hanging there, and then they freed him up and he was just prancing around with the kid. I can't remember the episode I don't it know. was like so it was funny. like uh he did, he was a broadway he wanted his son to be a broadway dancer or singer or some shit like that so it was so funny south parks it's still it's still hilarious wonderful 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 day blood thank you grew up with a devout catholic mom and a dad who was studying to be a pastor i got all my cursing out at school and with friends now it's kind of overrated Mm. They're also put up posters in our office to police speech. It's gotten pretty bad. Police speech? Wow. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what schools are doing now. Mm. So, d- did you find yourself cursing more? Like, when you were in school, did you, like, try to just get it out? Like, that's how I was. Like I think school- all kids are that way. All kids, because they can't, they can't curse at home. And so, they go to school or, or they're around their go. friends. Yeah, and they yeah, just... That's why I curse. I think all kids do that. Yeah. I remember we started learning how to play hockey in the backyard. We would set up like, we would make our own like makeshift nets out of like PVC pipe and stuff. And we would just play for hours and get all our friends from the neighborhood and play. And then when we got good enough, we would, we would be able to trek from the back alleyway to the actual park Mm -hmm. and challenge people. And then when we got good enough at the park, we can, we can challenge people in the actual, you know, in actual leagues. Yeah. That was the goal, right? That was the dream, Jesse. And then the next step, go to the NHL. No, we never dreamed about that. But and and when we were in the backyard and, and not the backyard, the alleyway, we would curse like crazy, but not realize that my mom could hear everything. And then when we did, come, your mom ever say my anything? My mom one day she mentioned what all she the say? cursing that we used to do, and we were horrible to each other. Like called each other every name, any name you. Wait, could your think mom of. didn't. Your mom didn't. She brought it up. She's like, man. <laughs> She's like, wow, you got some mouths on you. Because we never cursed. We never got in trouble for but it. But my mom was always cool like that. My parents weren't like, cool. Like if it wasn't for my father, we would all be cursing like crazy. Like yeah. My parents didn't allow it until they, until we were um, able to move out. That was when it was allowed. But as long as we were living under their roof, it wasn't allowed. Yeah. But um yeah, even to this day, I barely curse in front of my parents. Even on the phone, like every once in a blue moon, I'll slip. I'll drop. But your F-bomb. parents don't really curse. No. My mom would more. But every she drops one every once in a while. But yeah. like she doesn't. I like when my mom drops the f bomb. It's hilarious. Yeah, but she doesn't. She doesn't curse. Like that's the thing. I, I, my dad don't curse at all. He'll say shit here and there. Yeah. But um, he doesn't. I haven't. I so haven't heard. I don't think I've why, ever heard my dad say the f word. So that's why you kind of had that like respect of not cursing in front of them. Yeah, my, my parents were fashion. like sailors. They cursed. God, it was, it was nuts. Yeah, but it's crazy because your dad's a. Now he doesn't He's curse like, that much. He doesn't curse at all, or well, you've talked to him. He doesn't really drop any curse words at all anymore. Yeah, dad I mean, every once God. in a while he'll drop something. But he's a minister now. Like, how how can he be a minister? And that's wild. And I can't believe that. Curse Are you weirded out that your dad's a minister? Um, no. It's kind of weird, right? Well, like no. it's great for him because he was al- always like, um, like he was studying before I left. So, hmm. um, yeah. No, it doesn't. Do you think he still masturbates, or is that? Moss, he's not a monk. All right, so he still masturbates. I don't know, but I would assume so. That's the next question. But he has a wife, you know. Like, I'm. I. So when he has the urge, (laughs) I'm sure. Like he, I'm I'm sure he's fine. (laughs) Well, maybe. I mean, maybe she's doing a little extra overtime. He's at home with the Bible, gets a little frisky. Like he reads something about Mary Magdalene or some shit. You better hope he's not watching this right now. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man, no, Mary. Mary Magdalene, those big milky cans. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he's still master. I'm gonna ask him. 
I'm saying honestly, what, what's your thoughts? What's your stance? I would love to be a fly on the wall when you ask him that masturbation? question. I think that's a good, that's a valid, that's a valid question. Why do you mean what's his stance? He's not going to say it's wrong. No, but it might be. He's not going to say it's wrong. Because he's, he's, he's firm into it, right? And I'm assuming in the Bible, you're not allowed to fucking beat off. Where does it say that you're not allowed Thou to, shall not to beat pleasure off. It's, yourself? It's the 11th commandment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. When Moses went up there, it said, thou shall not beat off. Okay. I have a funny story about Afar, though, but should I tell the glow story? What? The glowing story? Should I tell him that? The glowing story? Yeah. What are you looking at? It's the only glowing story that I told. I only told my mom. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, then I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say the story. Well, just tell me. Trudesno. Look, he does look like him, right? Trudesno. Trudesno. That's the Bulgarian cowboy. Doesn't he look just like him? Yes, with glasses. Look at that. Bill Hicks was a chick. Thou shall not please yourself. <laughs> Thou shall not touch peen. Your own peen. Or other peen. <laughs> That's just... Wonderful. Wonderful. Roberto Minimas. In hey 1992, guys. during the King riots in Los Angeles, it was in the street. I was five. Tucker Carlson is asking his views to call the cops and social services if they see kids with masks. Man Karen. <laughs> Man Karen. Oh man, there's nothing. The only thing worse than a Karen is a man Karen. It's it's way worse, right? You think the women, man, the Karens, the female, pain in the asses. Do you think they're annoying? But then when a guy does it, it's even worse, right? Well, the only reason I think it's worse, worse is because guys usually aren't the pains in the asses. It's usually the women. Like you're used to the women being the pain in the ass. So when a guy is the pain in the ass, it's like it's like amplified, you know. That Rodney King thing was nuts. I remember being in high school when that shit happened. We all went to the top of the hill. We all fucking protested. We all, I didn't even know what the fuck we were protesting. You just wanted to be involved. I was just like, we're getting out of class. Everyone just got up and got out of Like, Oh, no, wait. Was it Rodney King? Hold on a second. That was 92, right? I have no idea. Was that 90? When was, when was the uh, whole trials thing over? Was it in 92? Hmm. Yeah, I was in high school then. If that was, I mean, I think it was the Rodney King thing. I'm almost positive it was. I was 92. Okay, so yeah, it was Rodney King. Yeah, we all we all just walked out of class, like all the white kids. And actually, we had we had a pretty decent mix. We all walked out of class and walked up this hill to the top of the hill, mm -hmm. and we all congregated over there. And then everyone started fucking fighting. Like all the kids started fighting, and the teachers were trying to get us in. What? Why is your clock still an hour behind? I don't know. Oh shit. Is it really? Yeah, it's so 10, 10? Let's fix it. Oh, shit. I, I had the wrong time the whole time. I, it's a, damn, man. Set time automatically. Zone automatically. Hmm. How do I change this? So how is it the wrong time zone? Ha, ha, ha. We're going to jump in this game in a sec. Yeah, I got to go make dinner. All right. Well, I'll figure that out later. What were we talking about? Yeah, so we went up there. My friend got fucking cracked over the head with brass knuckles. Football team, big burly guy. I put him right in the side of the head. With fucking brass knuckles. And then all the teachers finally got us all together and put us back on track, back into the classrooms, and we all got the, the lectures. I, wonder, I guess they were burning shit back then, too, but we didn't have social media, so it wasn't as cool. Um... <clears throat> How you liked the game? The first one was awesome. Um, I think this is the first one. Right? They just keep on like doing updates. This game's been out since for a while now. They just update like monsters and shit, I think. So the sound's been fixed. All right, we're waiting for a match. 90s were crazy. They were. Double Dragon. Oh, you know what they have like a new game of? I saw Mighty Mouse playing it. Uh was it Fist of Fury? What what the, what the hell was the name of the game? Do you remember? 
And she's giving me the look. She has no clue. What was the game? Remember, I was, we went down that rabbit hole of old games. Streets of Rage? Is that what it was? Oh, yes. Oh, remember Streets of Rage? I remember as a kid going to the uh, the arcade at the top by our... Um, it wasn't an arcade. It was like a pizza place, but it had a bunch of arcade games there. And that was there. Streets of Rage. They just walk around and pa pa pa. They have like a new version of that. Streets of Rage. What a game. Mm -mm. Wow, why is it taking... Oh, here we go. Why is it taking so long? Damn, man. I thought it was 9 o'clock. It's 10. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go make dinner. All right. 50 people hanging with us. Oh, come on. Why did it disconnect? Come on, Chudesno. All right. Let's see. What's going to be our like goals? 51? 100? We can do it. I don't know how, but we can do it. Just smack the like. <laughs> Streets of Rage was ghetto Golden Axe. Oh my god, Golden Axe. I fucking love that game. The guy with the beard, the little fucking beard. Short little guy with the, the big ass axe. Golden Axe. My god, that was on Sega. 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 Oh. Sega Genesis. Oh my god, that game is so fucking. I used to just run through that game over and over. When that game was out, I was obsessed with video games. Absolutely obsessed. I used to love... What was it? Uh, NHL 95 was a game I could not stop playing. NHL 95 was like... It was... It was it. It was like the mecca of all games. I would fuck all my friends up in that game. Now I, now I play a hockey game. I, I'm fucking terrible. Maybe I'll jump in some hockey today. Tonight. I got the old one. Uh, uh, I wonder how much the hockey game is. That'd be fun to play. Mm, 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 mm. NHL 93 was fights. We're just waiting for this. Streets of AIDS is every Democrat ran city, bro. Uh, uh, what's going on? Why is it taking so long to match me up? I want to survive. Streets of AIDS. Level 9. I could have got out of that last game, man. Got me at the very end. My team sucked. I had a shitty team. I have to try this to kill her again. Oh man, do they still make Axe? Axe body wash? Oh yeah, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. The the 3D the three D one was so fucking cool, man. The one the the Nintendo one that went straight across was that the 2D version was was trash. And then they came out with that other one where you can kind of go this way and that way. It was kind of two-dimensional, but you can still go in. There was, like, depth in the game. Oh, that game was fucking great. That was another game that I plugged so many quarters in the arcade. That was such a good game. That would be fun, playing, like, these old retro games. Wonderful, wonderful. I got the head rush sweater, guys. Thank you. Aye. BLT says he won't believe anything I say after a beer. Man, will you be surprised? Oh, yeah. I think Roberto had had uh, an interesting run to this point in his life. All right, Roberto, man. I hope you uh, like your sweater. That that sweater is that's actually a badass sweater. Um, I didn't see Pulse. Pulse is in the chat. Did you get your hat? We haven't heard shit about it. Yeah, Everest is a they are, they're fucking awesome, those guys. Ah. I gotta see if they make head rush wife beaters. Be all over that. Okay, why are we not matching me? Come on, what am I? This is this is terrible. They don't like Chew Desno. He really does look like that guy. Bulgarian cowboy. Robo is a fun drunk. Yeah, I can't wait. 
the rumblings of, of the UFC coming to AZ is is it's got me a little titillated. I hope that does happen. Find my way over there. I like to, I like to drink with the peeps again. That'd be great. Ken Shiro isn't a drunk though. That sucks, man. When he when he came, he came I go I when we went to uh in Brooklyn when we ran to Luke Thomas, and that was like the first time I met Ken Shiro. And we're like, yo, let's get let's pound some drinks, but he's not really a drinker. So he orders like a fucking martini. <laughs> I'm like, I got you, bro. What do you want? He fucking gets a martini. I'm like, what are you fucking Brian from Family Guy? Who the fuck orders a martini? <laughs> Like, all right. Fucking Ken Shiro is sipping on a martini. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, fuck that guy, man. Fuck that guy. That guy's done, so. All right. He's a classy man. All righty. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's try to survive. They got. They're bringing some gifts. This guy. This girl's got like a. She's got a fucking lunchbox. That guy's got. I don't know. He's got first aid kit. And the other broads to. She's bringing a smelly puss. Let's do this. And this one's name is Smelly Kelly. Smelly Kelly girl. All right, Smelly Kelly. Let's go. Let's do this. Late night gaming. Let's try to survive. I'm a survivor. Let's do it. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I know the Rangers got to They got to slip in. They got to slip in. I need them to slip in. A, they're playing the Islanders again. Went two games. Not, not looking forward to that. I would like to go to a hockey game for sure. Haven't been to one in years. I drag Jesse to one. She would. She would fucking love it. She would love it. I just can't have her handle like she handled the Giants game and throwing up in garbage cans and missing the last part of the game we gotta pace ourselves this time okay here we go alright Chudesno let's do this Chudesno 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 oh yes okay it's been so long since we played this game damn man that was a long ass break I'm a survivor. Be able to play as Beyonce. It's gonna be great. Man, it's dark. It's dark, guys. Hopefully, it's not too easy. See, I'm on the outskirts here. All right, search. I'm on the hunt for an edge. Here's an edge. Is that a breath already? I'll help you out. I'll fuck this thing up. Someone got nailed. This this fucking engine, man. I know there's like a, a way. There's like a rhythm to it. Oh, you fuck suck. You suck a cock. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Alright, so when he chases you, I'll go back and hit that engine. Kings are not bueno. So someone got dropped already. Wait, he didn't even come. Damn. Okay. Oh, fuck. You didn't see me, right? Oh, fuck. Look at that wonky thing. Alright, I'll go. I'll go finish where you left off. Keep running. Fuck! Son of a bitch. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Did I try to go back over there? Alright. Well, I got the audio in stereo now, too. So if anyone is... 
If anyone is listening, with headphones. Oh my oh. god, I was paying attention. God damn it. Oh, I am sucking so bad. Oh, it's fucked. It's really fucked, man. The volume up. I'm not liking it. Oh, uh, they got hung. I gotta go help. I can't. I can't let them go out like that. Marianne from Brooklyn. Yeah. Anyone else going to save this bitch? Oh shit! Someone's getting chased. Oh, fuck, man. It scared the shit out of me. What? Roberto. Oh fuck, dude. I remember when I first joined this squad, I was posting my cars. Real Real was all surprised, like, how did you get those? Like, if I stole the cars, lol. Yeah, Real Real. Real Real was a piece of work, but he did love his cars. My God, what was that? Thank you very much, Roberto. That scared the. Like, why do I. I don't like this game with the volume up, man. Thank you so much, Roberto. Real, real. Rest in peace, real, real. One of the one of the good guys, right? But he had moments where he was kind of normal. Thank you, guys. Like he actually had moments where oh, I got to save this guy. And then all of a sudden, he just like go full blown racist, like idiot. I got to save this guy. Come on, don't worry. Where are you? Where the fuck are you, dude? Fuck! I think I just exploded myself. Fuck, he's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna follow this bitch. Alright, let's, let's just chill. Real is probably so pissed off at the Marty. Oh, yeah. EPO Marty. Yeah, real, real isn't a fan. That bitch got a toolbox. Need the help. Okay. Oh, did someone die? Fuck me. That's I'm just asking for it. Just asking for it. Just asking for it. You don't see me, right? You don't see me. You don't see you. I have no idea where I am. Ran away because Polster's removing his messages. Someone's being chased. I'm fucking scared, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh, someone got knocked down. I'm close. Oh, you're you're. Where are you taking it? I'll save you, bitch. I, I better get a hand job. I save you. Right here. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? All right, save it. I say I, I'm Captain. Oh, come on. You know. You know, really. Fuck. I gotta save her again. Save her again. God damn it. Guy's hooking it up. Where is she? She's over there. Shit. I was like, did you just see me? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Stop! Stop the noise! Oh god, help me! Oh, oh, what are you popping all over the place for? Ah! Oh, oh god, no! Oh, no! No! Oh! Oh! I could have never tried to fuck it. Hey, Vlad. How you doing? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. 
the only normal conversation I think I had with Will was when we talked about steroids and proper usage in the Discord. Other than that, he was on full anti reloaded mode. <laughs> what? Hold on. Why? Why? Is it really? Oh, so the voice is fucked up? Really? Okay, I'm gonna have to change that. No one said anything. Oh, fuck, look at this shit. Oh, he, he almost had me! Alright, I gotta fucking... Oh, so the fucking voice is fucked up, guys? Wow, look at this, we're all hooked up. Oh my god. This is terrible. Thank you, Vlad, for the donation, Roberto Hernandez. Once I, um... Finish this game, I'm gonna go back into those. Oh man, this is bad. This is not good, guys. That's not good. This is this is not good. It's not that bad, really. Yeah, I put a um I put a noise gate on there. Fuck. Oh, what the fuck? Oh come on, man. Alright, let me take it off. Shit. So I gotta remember. That's good. That's why we did the stream. It's mostly when you yell. Ah. Hold on. Ah! 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 What does it sound like? Hold on. Let's see if I can fix it. Good. That's that's what I want. I want things to go wrong now, so I don't have to worry. Ah! 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 Does this sound bad? This one here? Noise suppressor? Let me see something. Nah, it doesn't work. Alright, I'm gonna take it off. Okay, it's off. Ah! All right. Let me know if that's any better. Yeah, the other one I liked because it it eliminated the background. Oh, shit. So when you yell, that sucks. What, Jess? What did it sound like? I'm so bummed. I got thrown off the game. Sounded like wind beneath my wings. That's better. All right. Yeah, I was trying to get rid of the the noise thing. All right, I'll test it out a little bit more. I like the suppressor because if we have ha fans on, or ham, if we have ham on in the background, fans, it, it got rid of all that noise. Ah! All right, I yelled. Is that better? All right, I'm going to piss and let's eat something. Ah, ham. Ham. Honey baked ham is delicious. Love honey. I'm not a big ham person, but... Honey baked ham. Oh, that's good. So the noise gate was canceling me out when I got loud. Oh, that sucks. Noise. No, it was a noise suppressor. It wasn't a noise gate. It was a suppressor. So, like it's on right now. This is noise suppress pr suppressor. Uh, low CPU usage. Hmm. How's this one? Is this one any bad? Is this any bad? Does this one suck? Can't sleep back. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna yell now. Let me know if this is if this is shitty. Ah! Let me hear it back. All right, I'm gonna yell now. Let me know if this is if this is shitty. Ah! Let me hear it back. Actually, it's not bad that one. Check. Check, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Actually, it's not bad, that one. Check, check, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Hmm, maybe I'll just keep it on that one. So regular noise suppressor. Yeah, because I like, not shitty, okay, not sh Thank you, guys, thank you. All right, so, I got to do this. On every scene, let me see. 
me 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 let's change this filter so noise suppressor wait what the fuck that's so weird low compression why is it doing that hello 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 What the fuck? It was on the same thing. Oh, I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. I just got to fix something here. That's fine. That's weird. Go drink warm milk. Delicious. Delicious. All right, filter, noise suppressor. Okay, it's on lower CPU usage. Ah, it still picks up noise. All right, I'm gonna have to do a sound test later. Lower CPU. But I don't like, so I was listening to a stream like two nights ago and I heard the fan in the background. If you had head, headphones on. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the yeah, quiet, most quiet sound. Huh? It's canceling your voice though. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta work on that. Yeah. All right. So um, I'll be right back. Jesse's here. But I'll be back in two seconds. What's up, guys? How's it hanging? I made Moss food, but I'm pretty sure it's cold by now. Because the guy doesn't freaking eat when it's served to him. <sighs> Autistic audio? Yeah, we'll get it, we'll get it figured out. It's, it's because he put a noise suppressor on it. The problem with noise suppressors is when you do a show like, like what we do, where there's a lot of yelling and stuff, um, they don't exactly work out all that well because if you get too loud, then it cancels you out as well. It's supposed to just cancel out like background noise, but it doesn't always work that way. Um, BLT, it looks like Robin Black. Where's Ellie already? I'm tired of waiting. Me too, man. We had a, um, we had a uh, a scare. Well, not really a scare. We had a false alarm last night. And um, we thought it was the real deal and found out she was just playing tricks on us. We were all ready to go. Is my mom Catholic? She, she was. She was raised Catholic. But now she's non-denominational Christian. So... Still religious, but just a different way of believing, I guess. We're going to talk religion. Let's do it. I always, I'm always down to talk religion. It interests me. I got to replay this. Let me give you guys the proper respect. Wonderful, wonderful. The only normal conversation I think I had with Real Real was when we talked about steroids and proper usage in the Discord. Other than that, he was on full anti-reloaded mode. Yeah, he was. Um, yeah, steroids, and uh, his he was so proud of his his gym, and um, it was weird though. Like he would, like when he called in, he was kind of normal, for the most part. It was his donations were out of control, and um, his his Instagram was fucking nuts too. But yeah, he loved steroids. And he would send us like pictures. Oh yeah, and we had a good banter about the Islanders too. That's I did enjoy that, like the back and forth. Yeah, it sucks real real. If you're still around, you could rub the Islanders in my face. Wonderful, wonderful. Kind of uh, pretty funny how that worked out. I remember when I first joined Discord, I was posting my cars. Real real was all surprised, like, how did you get those? Like if I stole the cars, lol. <laughs> You're Mexican and you have nice cars. Definitely stole them, right? 
That's that's his mindset, which was kind of weird, right? Wonderful, wonderful. Yo, Moss, why? All niggas ever had some over-roasted honey-backed ham on Thanksgiving, man. The next day, take the leftovers, fry it on a pan, and make sandwiches. Mm. Yes. Taste elite on some toasted French bread. Yes, bro. Yes. That does sound good. It's making every, my mouth water. Every time my dad made uh, honey-baked ham on a holiday, the next day, it was always ham, eggs, and toast. It was freaking delicious. Put that shit on a pan. It's the best. Yeah, I like honey baked. I'm not a ham person, but honey baked ham is delicious. Is that going to be our new tradition now? Maybe. You didn't like it? No fun? No, I didn't mind it. It is kind of tough to do, though, because you have to warm it at, like, the perfect temperature or you can dry out the ham. Because you're not supposed to, like, bake it. It's already cooked. You know? It can't... <laughs> see Justin's message before he retracted. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Why do you find that funny? Huh? Why do you find that funny? The way he worded it. You didn't, did you see it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's funny. <laughs> hmm. Oh man. Yeah. Honey baked ham. I think we should make it as a uh, a tradition. I like it. Thanksgiving, let's switch it up. I can do without turkey. I don't need turkey. I don't need it. Like I understand it's tradition and everything. But turkey is kinda like when it comes to the birds, it doesn't really do anything. You need to smother it with like gravy and shit, you know? Unless I guess unless you're doing like a deep fried turkey, then it's a different story. But just regular turkey is just so dry. You know? Kind of meh. I'm not a big turkey guy. I'll eat it, but it's on my the low like I like the stuffing and all that other fun stuff. Chicken is the uh superior bird. And quail. How do you think quail tastes? Anyone ever eat quail? I don't think there's much meat on the quail. Oh, is that why? Because the, uh, the ham leaked in the fridge? Is that why? Why what? The, the ham leaked in the fridge? Is that why what? You don't want to do a honey-baked ham? Are you questioning it? No, it's just tough to heat up because I don't want it to be dry. Oh, Uncle Boss says quail is great. (laughs) Is it really? They're so small, though, as birds. They're adorable. They're one of the funnier birds around here that we're watching run around. So they actually taste good, huh? Might have to kill one. Throw it on the grill. They're like the dopiest looking bird I've ever seen. And they go, ah! They have the weirdest, like, when we go for our walks around the area, we see the quails just running around. And we keep, we always laugh at their, their, uh, their call. I guess that's their mating call or something, right? Ah! Ah! How you feeling? Contractions? No? Damn, man. False alarm last night. We were packing bags and getting ready to go. And next thing you know. It really was like the real deal. And then she. It's like she's going to be playing tricks on us her whole life. She's getting us prepared. I have had ostrich. Ostrich burger. It was pretty good. You get a lot of meat off of an ostrich. You ever have ostrich? I went to this place called Bear Burger, and all their burgers were like novelty burgers, like all different types of meat and stuff. And one was ostrich, so I was like, "Yo, give me that bird. It's good." An ostrich burger. 
Moss, this spinach is, is fire, right? I, I'm mixing it with uh, the chicken. I made it from scratch. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Thanks. Bird sex call. Yeah, I think it is. Oh. So, we've fallen in love with the round-tailed squirrel. These motherfuckers are so goddamn funny. And we thought they were like gophers and shit. But now we purposely like explore for them. They burrow hole, holes and stuff. They're, they have this little this little tail that's just kind of curls. And they look like a, like a, a miniature gopher. They're hilarious. They get on their back legs. Looking around, they hopping across the street. We found one in our yard the other day. So that's our new favorite little furry friend, besides the tarantula. I wonder if tarantulas and, and those things go at it. You think? Uh, I don't know. We saw it kill a snake. Well, we didn't see it. We saw it on YouTube. I mean, if it could kill a snake, I'm sure it would go after a tarantula. Cream chicken with spinach. Cream spinach with chicken. You ever see an ostrich have sex? They do it ostrich style, ostrich style right? Justin, that is like the fifth time you said that. <laughs> he's trying to sleep. And then he comes back and he's like, I'm back. This stream will put you to sleep. All right, so now we know the noise gate is useless. Yeah, I wouldn't put noise gate on there. Damn, man. At least the audio issue is gone. That, that's that's great, man. I was really getting worried about that. Fucking driver. So y'all think John Jones versus Francis will happen? I don't know, man. The um, mm. UFC is looking to put Derek Lewis together because John Jones is asking for too much money. Did you see um, John Jones left his management team? No. Yeah. When did he do that? First round management. When did he do that? I think today it dropped. Why did he leave? Well, he's probably not getting the money that he wanted. There was a mutual uh, split, according to first round. Where is it? You think he's blaming his management team for not getting the Hmm. money he wants? Did Bones put it up? Who put it up? Johnny Bones. Here we go. See? After an 11 year journey, as Johnny Bone Jones, management team, first round management, and Bones have amicably decided to part ways. We are proud of him and the work we've done. We wish him the best going forward. Wow. So I bet Jones got into a little heated conversation with these guys, thinking that he didn't deserve, you know, that he didn't get enough, as much money as he deserves. It's crazy, man. Well, listen, I, I get it, man. He wants to get paid top dollar. I, I totally understand that. But he's, he's burning bridges. He's burning... No, not a, listen, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. 11 years with his management team and... Ali Abdelaziz? What do you think? What about Ali? You think Ali's going to take Jones? I'm saying, what do you think? Should you go with Ali? I don't even think Ali would take him. I think Ali gets too much of a piece of a pie. Wonderful, wonderful. what Jones wants. He should nego- negotiate himself. It's that time, brother. It's tornado season here and oklahoma and your boy just got woken up by a damn tornado warning what? please hit this house and put me out big man upstairs <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah i hope i hope that happens chrome i hope <laughs> you get what you wish for <laughs> i'll say a prayer for you oklahoma is like the worst place to be in during tornado season yeah, I don't know how you guys do it, man. I'd be, I'd be terrified. When, when, Oklahoma gets hit hard every yeah, year. Yeah, I would be terrified. A tornado warning, like that's 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 something like that's no joke. I hope we you're got, right. We um <laughs> got a shit ton of tornadoes in Illinois. <laughs> he's got another baby coming. He, he's rooting for the tornado. Tornadoes are fun though. Like it, watching them come in and stuff, it is pretty fun. You just have to be careful. That's all. If I was really far away, I would love watching. I'd be mesmerized. But well, the thing is, with the tornadoes, they can turn at any moment. Yeah, I'm good though. Like those people that chase tornadoes and shit like that. Yeah, I'm good, man. 
I don't want to be anywhere near a fucking tornado. Even though you got to think Arizona. Want, I used to want to be a storm chaser when I was a kid. Well, like here, you got to. Why? Where are the tornadoes here? There should be tornadoes. You don't get here. tornadoes in Arizona. Why not? Um, so tornadoes develop through hot air and cold air, and hmm. the Midwest is just the perfect climate for a tornado to develop. Here, it's just so fucking dry and hot that it's... It's the moisture? It's Yeah, it's a mixture of cold air and hot air moving in different directions, and then they create a funnel. I mean, we get those those mini... Th- with the dirt devil things? Yeah, but they there's not enough... They look just like little tornadoes. There's just not enough humidity and, and hot air and cold air mixing together to create a tornado here. Oklahoma. We drove through Oklahoma. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Have you guys ever had a buffalo beef burger? Actually, Super yes. Super overrated. Less flavorful and, and more dry because of the high muscle content. Thanks for announcing uh. when you leave and come back, Justin. <laughs> it's super helpful to the stream. You agree, Moss and JBM? Oh, my goodness. Yes. So that must be it, the muscle content. Moss, remember when we tried the buffalo beef burgers um, from Freshly the other night? Like uh, two weeks ago, I is think. Is that the same as bison? Oh, is that bison? Is it the same? I don't know. Isn't bison a buffalo? Oh, you're right. It was bison. I thought it was buffalo. I've had bison burgers. I don't know. I, I'm assuming it's the same, though. Isn't a bison a buffalo? I don't even fucking know. What is a bison? Right? A bison's a buffalo. So wouldn't that be the same thing? I've had bison burger. I've, I've had that a lot. Is it the same? Let's see. So the muscle content. What is a bison? Bison, also called buffalo or wisen. Yeah. Either yeah. Of two species so that's what we had. Like yeah, I've had that. I actually like it. I like so, a bison. So we, I act, we actually tried bison burgers literally like... I would say like three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. You got to go to the right place, though. And Get a good bison. It was the first time I ever had a bison burger, but I kept telling Moss, I was like, I don't like it. It's it's chewy. Yeah, but... It fe- it was it tasted like really chewy. Is that Could that be because of the muscle content? Maybe. But that was freshly. It's not like you went to a restaurant and ordered like a good bison burger. I mean, the flavor was good, but it was just really chewy. I just didn't like how chewy it was. I've had it before. And I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't. A big, thick bison burger. It's supposedly healthier for you, isn't it? Like, don't they say it's like a healthier know. meat or some shit? I don't know. I don't, I don't know the deal. I could be wrong. But you didn't like it, huh? It's not bad, just kind of dry where I bought it, less fat. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely got a different consistency. Yeah, I've been to a couple of restaurants and ordered it. And it was actually really good, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know how you consumed it. If you bought it yourself, and maybe I don't know. But yeah, freshly, I wouldn't judge. I wouldn't judge something off of freshly, like something that you got to throw in the microwave. You know, they have good food, but yeah, I, w- I would try it again. I would give it another go because it tasted just like a burger to me. Just more, I don't know. It tastes like more expensive. Yeah. Cow tongue, no. Ugh. That's disgusting. My grandmother eats cow's tongues. Wait, um, like she actually wants to do it? Yeah, like she, she like, but she's Mexican. Like, she's straight up Mexican. That's a, it's a very Hispanic thing to do. It's disgusting because you can, it looks like a tongue. It, like, it's a fucking tongue. Like, it's just it's so gross. Yeah. I refuse. What well, if they chopped up the tongue and put it in a salad? They put them on, like, tacos and stuff like that. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Your boy was sleeping good, dreaming of naked snow bunnies running through fields. Next thing you know, I get rudely awakened by the wifey screaming, Wake your ass up. <laughs> you not hear them damn sirens going off. I looked at her. The clock and said, fuck that tornado. (laughs) (coughs) Fuck that tornado. I probably would have been the same way. (coughs) If I lived in Oklahoma, I'd probably be so used to it. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, but you gotta think you're so like. (coughs) If you lived in Oklahoma and you saw the devastation that occurs every year from tornadoes, you would not be the same way. I don't know. I think I feel like if you live anywhere for a certain amount of time, you get desensitized. Chrome is just talking. You know he got up and he <clears> gathered <throat> up all his kids and took them to the basement. I don't know. It's not his first rodeo, I'm sure. <coughs> it's like when people say, 
scorpions. You know, like people. That's not freak a tornado. Out. It's not going to destroy your house. It's spiders. He dad almost jumped out of his fucking pants when I when I brought up even brought the word spider up. Yeah, he has like arachnophobia or whatever the fuck it's called. But he's been that way his whole life. Mm. Yeah, it looked like uh I don't know, maybe if you live there, you're just like, whatever. Another tornado. No B. Right? <laughs> I don't want to be next to a tornado. That's for sure. If I got a tornado warning on my phone, I'd probably like, yeah, it's time to move. But then again... You just go to your basement. It's time to get out of here. But a fire is just as bad. You know? That's terrifying. When we had, we almost had to evacuate because of the fire. Nah, a tornado's... That was pretty fucking scary. Don't, yeah. No cap. <laughs> I think it was... I think it, what was more scary was just the fact that we literally just moved into the house and we thought we were going to lose it. It was burnt down immediately. That's creepy, man. Yeah, I think any devastation to your home is scary. Well, there's a spider on your shoulder. I miss that tarantula, Jess. Me too. Wonderful, wonderful. No one goes to the storm shelter in Oklahoma. That's why we always dying. We would rather go out and see it than go get in a damn shelter. That's not an Oklahoma thing. That's just a Midwest thing. My dad did the same thing. Every time the sirens went off, like he would just go outside to look. Like He would tell all of us when we were younger, he would tell us, go into the basement. But then he would fucking step outside and watch the tornado come in. Like, what? What kind of sense does that make? So he would step Some outside example. and hang out with a tornado, but if a fucking spider crosses, like, runs across his leg, yeah, it will fucking go nuts? Yeah. I can't explain it. Did you ever fuck with him as a kid? What do you mean? Oh, spiders? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the time. You know those toys that look like real spiders? They, like, flop around like real spiders? Yeah. There was one time my brothers had gotten one from my grandfather for Christmas. And my grandfather got it from my brothers knowing full well what they would do. Mm-hmm. And they, they tied, like, a thread to it so that you couldn't see it. And then they had it the way that our old house was is you could stand at the top of the stairs and it was like right over our couch in the living room downstairs. Mm. So they would do that. And then they lowered the spider down on my dad, on, like on his shoulder. <laughs> and it was a, it looked like a fucking tarantula. It was about the size of a tarantula. So it was clearly fake. But to my dad, it, it's real. And it, the moment it touched him and he saw what it was, he fucking flipped out. They also did one where they stuck one, you know, like the old fashioned couches where there's like um, a flap on the bottom. Yeah, a lot of couches still have that. Yeah, so they would like tuck a spider under there and have it like kind of peeking out of that flap. So when my dad sat down and, and realized, it, like looks down for a second or something, realizes right by his feet. You should send him the picture, the one that we found today. They Yeah, they used to fuck with them all the time. That's funny. Because it was so easy. Like when you know someone has a serious fear like that, it's just so easy to mess with them. But it's kind of fucked up too because you're capitalizing on their on their stress, you know? Yeah. When I was younger, I had a little bit... I went through a phase where I wasn't a big fan of spiders. And then I think everybody has that moment. Now I'm saving them. <laughs> now I'm saving spiders. Yeah, I never used to save spiders until you told me to save them. I used to just kill them. Now spiders are my ally. I'd rather a spider than a fucking scorpion, to be honest. Scorpions got fucking weapons. You know, scorpions got fucking... So do spiders. They got the, the claws and they got the fucking stinger. So they got they got a double whammy. Spiders have really poisonous venom. I know, the recluse and the whatever. Black widow. The black widow, but you know they don't want to blow. Wonderful, wonderful. Y'all niggas need to go to a Mexican restaurant and have some fried intestine tacos. <laughs> Swear it's like fried bacon. <laughs> then drop some sauces with lime juice on top. <laughs> Ask <laughs> Lady C J B M. She know the deal. <laughs> You're missing out. Tripe. Fry, a tripe, right? Is that what it is? No. What's tripe is... What's tripe? Tripe is uh, stomach. Oh. Uh. But tripe is... It's all the same shit. Ugh. Blech. <laughs> but yeah, if you fry it, it's got to taste good, right? Everything fried tastes good, right? Well, some things. I feel like I, I disappointed my, my mother's side of the family when I wouldn't... <laughs> when I wouldn't uh, eat a lot of the foods that they make. I love beans. These are delicious. 
Yeah. I'm just shoving it in my face. They're good for you. Make you poop. Yeah, beans are delicious. I don't know. Any kind of bean, I'll eat it. You put it in front of me, I eat it. I think I should have been Mexican. Although, the intestines and stuff like that would have failed. Well, any culture has weird things. It's not just like Mexican. Like, um, um, Greek has a lot of weird. Yeah, Italians got snails. Yeah. I feel like any culture, it doesn't matter what it is. You ever eat a snail? No, never. That's cargo? I never will. What do Irish have? Irish. What do Irish have? Cabbage. That's not weird. It smells. <clears throat> it smells like shit. It tastes good, but it smells like shit. Yeah, what do Irish people? Beer? Three bass. Put up at 12. <clears throat> Damn, I'm fueled up. Now we're going to go until about four in the morning. All right, was it? <clears throat> so it's 11? All right. A little more. A little more. We're, we're going to try to game. We played like three games. <clears throat> wonderful, wonderful. Potatoes? Oh, potatoes are delicious, though. Also, my storm cellar is about 30 yards away from the house. Chrome don't feel like walking in the rain. So we just gonna have to ride that bitch out here. Mm. I love my kids and woman very much. But they know Chrome becomes very stubborn during danger. <laughs> well, don't the black guys always die in the movies first? But he's not full black. So he's gotta, he's gotta use the uh, unblack side of him to survive. Yeah, he's gotta use the Hispanic side of you him. You gotta tap into your non-black side. And you'll live. <clears throat> and you'll be fine. But um, <clears throat> you know what? It reminds me. It reminds me of like a quiet place. Like I feel like Chrome lives in that house in a quiet place where they had that like shelter downstairs. And when all of the monsters are coming, they're in the shelter. The wife gets the fucking gun. I can see like Chrome's wife gets the gun, throws it on the shoulder. Let's go. <laughs> I don't think his wife talks Rada like that. Rada die. Let's go, Chromey poo. We're gonna take out this Nato's. With my fucking shotgun. Natos? Yeah, they call them natos. No, they there. don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they don't. We're gonna get them natos. I've never heard yeah, natos. Yeah. And I lived in the Midwest for I most know. of my life. That's what you call them in New York. Natos. Natos? Yeah, those natos. You clearly have never gotten tornadoes <laughs> in New York. You gotta have a nickname for tornadoes. We never had a nickname for tornadoes. Natos? Those natos? Natos? <laughs> yeah, the natos. I We've never called them natos. You hear about that nato coming our way? I could see him saying that. I can't. I just made it up, but I, I guarantee they say it. It sounds so stupid. Natos. <laughs> Natos. Yeah. You gotta call them. What do they call them? Torns. The yeah. Torns? Go to the Midwest and tell me if if you um. What What do they call them though? Probably like tornadoes too long. Probably like naders or something. But not naders sounds like that sounds a little racist, Jesse. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. Why naders? does that sound racist? Like look at those damn naders over there. <laughs> what is racist about naders? Sounds like you say the N word. What? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Naders. People call potatoes oh taters. No, no, no. Natos. How does naters sound racist? That sounds fucking racist to me. I, in taters, fact, I want a fucking divorce. Does taters sound racist to you? Ta no. But naters sounds... It's, pr it's pretty bad. No, it doesn't. It's the fucking N-word. You're calling the tornado the N-word. You're so stupid. I think that's wrong. Oh, God. But natos. Natos. Yeah. <laughs> Got them natos coming our way. <laughs> Nobody says natos. Yeah. That's what I would do. <laughs> fucking naders I had to move too many naders around <laughs> There's too many naders in my neighborhood They just call them tornadoes <laughs> I had to leave That's that's pretty racist Jess They just call them tornadoes No naders Anyone in the chat call them naders Nobody says naders <laughs> Damn naders <laughs> Yeah man I put the house up for sale There's too many naders around <laughs> Too many naders rolling through in the neighborhood Gotta get out of here yeah, it's, that's racist. You're making things up. That's pretty, but if you say NATO's, completely so fa fine. It's easy. God damn, Jesse. I didn't realize how racist you are. Sorry. That's crazy. I thought uh, you were raised better than that. Okay, let's go. Let's die. Oh, yes. Let's die. Right, I got to get out at least once. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Tripe and trippers are commonly mixed in with each other because they're so close. Trippers are intestines, Three which bucks. are wonderful, wonderful in tacos. Blech. Have hmm. one, and you'll be thanking me for your fucking life. The naters always ruin the neighborhood. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> naters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. 
So it does it taste like what is that meat that's fucking delicious that they put in those um remember we used to go to uh Cheesecake Factory and get that burrito, that Mexican burrito that was spicy and it has that crunchy meat. What is that meat that's so fucking delicious? Um it's very crunchy well, and spicy. Well, it definitely doesn't taste like that cuz to me it's not delicious. Well, what is that meat? What is I don't that? Like it. I don't I don't even know what the hell that meat is, but it's so good. Uh no, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, think. I don't know. What do you want me to do? Just magically like pop some shit into you my head? Go to the Cheesecake Factory. Go for breakfast. Okay. Carne asada? Is that what it's called? No. Is that what it's called? I don't even remember. It's that fucking meat. It's like a fried meat. It tastes so fucking good. It's spicy. Chorizo? Chorizo. Yes. Chorizo. Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, that's Wait, a, What is that? Oh, what? you're talking about a breakfast. What kind of meat is that? Chorizo. It's pork. It's pork. Yeah. Well, what part of the pig? It's like a sausage. They're just saying pork. So, yeah, it's probably intestines and shit. No. <laughs> it's not intestines. Oh, what part of the pig is it then? It's like a sausage. It's like a spicy sausage. What part sausage. is bacon? Bacon is the butt, I believe, the right? butt? Isn't it's, it the butt? I don't know. I think the bacon is the butt. Chorizo. Does it taste like fucking chorizo? It's sausage, yeah. Oh, it's so fucking good. It's like spicy. I could go for some chorizo right now. Oh, put some chorizo on my face. You need to have like a real Mexican breakfast where they have like the chorizo no, and, like and, the, <laughs> and the potatoes and the eggs every, and like the bell like peppers and everything like mixed together. It's I'm really telling good. you, I think it's a weird part of the pig. They just call chorizo. it chorizo. Yeah. It's sausage. So sausage is from all parts of the pig, yeah. right? So That's what I'm saying. So if we eat that, we could eat the other intestines. No, this shit. is different. This is like... Is it just, slimy? It's like straight up... No, oh, well, it's fried. No, if they fry it, it's crispy. So yeah, it's just like chorizo. But I don't like... I don't like it because I, I know what it is. Chorizo. Wonderful, wonderful. Damnators. <laughs> There's a damnator out yonder, son. <laughs> Grab Amy Joe and head down yonder and get in that there tin can. Before you close that damn door, go open the gate to that pasture over yonder so the cows and horses have a way out. Get ready for the ride of your life. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, yeah. Naders. Not racist at all. Naders. Right? <laughs> thank you, Chrome. Thank you, Vlad. Uh, thank you guys. Okay. Yeah, so chorizo is just it's just scraps anyway. So it's I could try the I could try the uh intestine. It's not the same thing though. I could probably do it. If it's fried, I could do it. That other shit that you were talking about, no. That gnarly stuff in a, in a fucking... No, I couldn't do that. It's that weird-ass fucking... The stomach. <clears throat> that weird, like, fear factor soup that you were putting it's together. It's not fear factor soup. Stop it. <laughs> we walked through... It, uh, maybe this is racist, too. I don't even know. But we were walking through the neighborhood. And as we were walking, we're in, like, Honkyville over here. There's, like, one black guy, right? There's, like, one black guy on a block. But at least there's one, right? So we're walking through. We're walking through the neighborhood. And I get punched in the face... With this fucking smell, right? It's curry. I put the fucking house up for set. No. Like, it fucking punched me so. Like, curry is a smell that is. It's like super smell. No matter what. If you. And it tastes delicious. You ever have curry? I've never tasted it, no. It tastes very good. But the problem is, the stench it smells, it smells like body odor. And then when yeah, you I consume don't like smell. it, it comes out. Like, I guess, like, some people don't like the way people smell when they eat garlic. Like, we probably stink from our. Uh, Greek lunch today but man this curry smell we walked past this thing and I was like what the fuck well it wasn't as strong as, as some situations that we've been in like, like I got punched in the face by ISIS no what is wrong with you <laughs> we went for a walk and fucking ISIS just jabbed me right in the face but man what a smell you see you never had it huh you should try it though it, it does actually like curry chicken and stuff actually is really good. I will never try it because I, the smell turns me off to it. Stephen Curry. I, I worked in a neighborhood in Jackson Heights and my buddy was with a coworker who was with me and he says, you got to try the spot. It was an Indian spot. And it was like, you walk yeah, in there. Yeah, I'm not big into like you need a fucking clo You need a clothespin on your fucking nose to walk into this place. Like it, I bet. It, it punches you in the face. But he's like, yo, just give it a chance. And I had this curry chicken. It was so fucking good. Spicy, delicious. But yeah, we stunk, man. Why do all the good foods make you stink? Right? I don't know. Like onions and things are good. I like onions. But you stink. Onions are them. really good Garlic's for you. Garlic's delicious. That's also really good for you. Curry, curry's good. But the goddamn curry smell, man. Yeah, I can't do the smell. Cabbage. I love cabbage. But it smells like ass. You but walk you can into tolerate a, cabbage. Listen, 
You walk into a fucking potato damaged Irish family's house, right? You walk into this house and they're fucking making that cabbage, cabbage, full blown cabbage party. Corned beef, the whole deal. It smells I like, like the smell of someone it. L- laid the biggest fart ever. No, but if it's mixed with corned beef, then it has like a different smell. It's terrible. It's terrible. Every fucking, every group has a, a, a shitty food. Italians got the garlic, you know. Although garlic smells, I don't know, maybe because I'm Italian. Maybe it smells like shit. Like, do you think like Indians think garlic smells like like how we smell curry? Do you think Indians smell garlic? I'm like, oh, it smells like shit. You think that's the case? I'm curious. Wonderful, like wonderful. Different smells and stuff. Cultures. No man, chitlins man. That shit will clear the whole block out. <laughs> that smell will take the biggest toughest man down. Nasty ass shit. If mm. you make that shit for Thanksgiving, you should have died when you were a baby. <laughs> I never had that. What is it? I don't even know what chitlings is. What is it? Your dad knows what it is, right? I feel like your dad's had it. Yeah, my dad probably has had it. Chitlings. That's a, is it's, that like a um, South thing? Made from the large intestines of a pig. Oh, my God. Is it good? Does it taste good? But it says um, intestines of a cattle and like cows and stuff are sometimes used. Why can Why do intestines taste so good? What's that about? I don't think they taste good. Apparently, like, I'm not a big shit, intestines fan. Whatever shit flows through, it tastes like sausage. I mean, isn't there intestines involved in That's that? That's what I'm saying. I think it's I delicious. disappointed my mother's side of the family because I, I didn't eat that. Like, I didn't like it. I didn't want it. We're like a you bunch know? of shit eaters. Like, why the hell? Indians lost the smell way before the rest of us. Yeah, they're probably so desensitized. So maybe garlic doesn't bother them. Yeah, you ever like go to the gym, right? Remember when we went to the gym? And the neighborhood that we were in had a very dominant Indian uh, community over there, and those guys. Yeah, some of oh them, some of them had that God. that smell. You could tell what they ate for dinner the night before. It smelled like they rubbed themselves with a dead body before they walked in. And I, and I haven't complained. I was that guy. I, fucked. I was like, one, you got to do something about this smell. <laughs> Did you guys see Kams at post? He's pissed at Jorge Masvidal for calling out Nick. Hmm. Yeah, Hamzat, right? How about Jorge Hamzat? Yeah, Hamzat's pissed. He better he better fight though. He's gotta close his mouth and get back in the cage, right? Guy was fighting every week and then all of a sudden. Wonderful, wonderful. Bro, spicy chicken curry may smell odd, but is delicious. Yeah. I went into a restaurant and pretended to be Indian to get better <laughs> service, but they caught me in 4K when in spoke Spanish. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you you need a hook, like you got to go into an Indian restaurant with someone that's well versed in the food, and they'll put something on your plate that you'll be like, "Wow, this is delicious." Mm. It's just getting past the odor in there. Yeah, the smell really turns me off. I'll never try it. You know, I, if- I actually that might be the only food that I'll never try, just because like the smell <laughs> is too much. But it is good. I got it. You you like spicy food? I don't. I like spicy food that smells good. Yeah. Well. You might have to, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you got to do to get you to do it. Well, if you're in a well-ventilated place, right? If you're outside. There is nothing that will make me want to try curry. You got to try it. You got to try it at least once. I, I can't. You got to give that it one might shot. be like I'm not a very picky person when it comes to trying new things. I love trying new things. But that might be the one thing that I actually don't. I I'm have not, no interest in trying. It's good. I'm telling you. It's actually really good. I'm, I'm shocked. I was shocked that was, how good it was. Because something that smells that bad, you would think there's no possible way. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it tasted good. But you got to go to the right place, right? I guess. I don't know. In Arizona, I don't know if they're known for <laughs> for their curry meals <laughs> over here. I don't think they are. Yeah. You know what has the worst smelling food ever? It's fucking Filipinos. Whatever, they have death. I don't know. I remember someone in the chat came in and told us exactly what it was. But I, I, I actually vomited from the smell. Really? When I was working, I told you the story where I fucking opened the oh, door. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked him to sign for the package. I started dry heaving. Like the smell hit me at a point, and I can't. There's a, a specific dish that they make. But you're also like very dramatic in no, situations. No, just fucking. A. I feel like maybe you were you probably have never too dramatic. smelled. There's a Filipino dish that they a lot of them make. It smells so. My boy was a Filipino guy, right? And he threw a house party. I almost fucking. <laughs> I couldn't go into the house. I was like, "What the fuck? What does that smell?" Like, I couldn't believe it, man. Yeah. Does anyone know what that fucking, what it's called? You know what I really want to get Moss more into is Greek food. I love Greek food, and there's only certain things that he'll eat that's Greek. Yeah, well, I already burnt the uh, the Irish. You know, like, I'm half Irish, and, and cabbage smells like fucking ass. It smells terrible. I love cabbage, though. I like it, too. 
You know, the smell doesn't bother me as much, though. There's other foods that bother me more than cabbage. Like, yeah, it stinks, but, you know, it doesn't bother me as much. I don't know, man. But you know, the only thing with the cabbage is it doesn't stay on you, you know? Like, yeah. there's some odors like garlic. Wonderful. Can't wonderful. shake it. You got to fucking burn your fucking body up. Don't go to a Chinese restaurant with chrome. I make the workers feel uncomfortable. I just be in there like, yeah, give me some of that dog leg. Oh Throw my in God. a cat paw, but lay off the whiskers. Also, can I get a Dalmatian tail for an appetizer? <laughs> I actually was in a neighborhood and I, and I found a bunch of caged cats in this Chinese family's yard. Like, no lie. I, w- I was traumatized by this. Mm. And, I, and I always regret I never fucking did anything about it. I told people about it, but I never, I never fucking, I should have like called the police or some shit. I don't fuck. I mean, what do you do? What are they going to do? Right. I like, know, how do you, what do you do? I've never been to a Greek festival, Walty, but I, I find, I think it would be so cool. The only thing that, that I can't get Moss to like, he, he doesn't like that, uh, tzatziki sauce. Oh, that tzatziki sauce is shit. I can't tell you. And it's he like doesn't mayonnaise. like, he doesn't like lamb or anything like that, which I can't blame him, <clears> you know, but I, Greek food is so good. And I would love to expand my palate on Greek food, but it's just difficult to get him to to want to do it, you know? And since we eat the same things. I've tried Greek a bunch of times, but today we had something that was yeah, delicious. It was so good. I got so him good. Greek food today, but the problem is I got him like a more American version of Greek That's food. That's my kind of Greek. So like... Yeah, it was delicious. It was this, just like- this restaurant that, that I love it has amazing Greek food. So they, get what you want. Just order me that. That's yeah, cool. they have like two or three dishes for people who aren't really into Greek food. Like you uh, know when you have that one friend in the group who doesn't like Greek food, so the restaurant accommodates to that one friend. Oh, you like uh, Walty likes because oh tzatziki. It's it's like cum. It's like mayonnaise. <laughs> I remember one time I I went because I I can't stand mayonnaise. I've but it's not this, mayonnaise. Like, oh man, I understand this. But I asked the people at the restaurant. I remember when I went to a Greek place. I was taking a lunch. I was starving. And they made this big fucking wrap. It was a gyro, whatever the fuck it was. And it was loaded up. It looked so fucking good. And I saw the white sauce. And then I went back to the register. I'm like, is this mayonnaise? Like, is there any mayonnaise There's in this? There's no mayonnaise in it. And they said, no, no, no. One, I'm one, sorry, one. man. It's too similar. That shit is like, it's like yogurt one shit. One thing know. I hate about Greeks is that they don't sound tough. Like Leonidas in 300. <laughs> <laughs> I got in this um, grilled, oh, God. grilled chicken pita. And it was really good. But it's just... It's just not Greek enough, you know. Like, I, th- now they did. I will say on that on that pita, they they do have this really good garlic sauce. The that only problem is, is tzatziki is ass. It's fucking hot trash. It's disgusting. It looks like jizz. It's like it's fucking. I don't know, man. I I don't want to. I don't. You know what it is? It's probably just because you can't wrap your head around the fact that it's not. Mayonnaise. No, I've tried it. I actually gave it a shot. I was like, okay, let me go. And I took a bite in this thing, and I was like, this is because you were ass. thinking mayonnaise. Same consistency. Yeah. The thing is, like, and it's weird because there are certain things I can make exceptions with. To a point, but like you cream even, cheese, I you guess. You don't even eat chipotle sauce. It's got mayonnaise in it. I it know. It has this mayonnaise in it. Yeah, but isn't there chipotle sauces that don't have mayonnaise in them? It has. I, if it has mayonnaise in it, I sniff, I sniff it out, man. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I start gagging. I can't. I can't fucking do it, man. Like, listen, I'm not the only one. Like Melissa but Efforts. I can get him to eat cream cheese. Like, if if I put cream cheese on a bagel man. or something, he can eat that. But sour cream, forget it. I can't get him to eat sour cream for shit. And that's not even mayonnaise. Sour cream, it just, it doesn't even taste good. On a taco? Oh, it's fucking ass. Oh my God. You know what those people, you know what I can't stand? Let me, I'm going to call some motherfuckers out. Those people, I love spicy food. Oh, wings, wings, wings. Get me extra ranch. I, I agree Fag. with you it's on that though. I don't like ranch. Fags. Yeah, they're like, let me dip it in my ranch. And they're like, oh, I love spicy food. And they're fucking dunk it in ranch. Yeah, I agree. I don't, yeah, ranch is shit. disgusting. Yeah. You don't like spicy. You ru- You just ruined your wing. Yeah. They got cum all over your ring. W- wing. Ah, no. Ranch. Yeah, ranch is pretty gross. Fucking A. Or put fucking that Caesar dressing on. It's like just Yeah, drop Caesar dressing is the worst fucking too. Fucking more jizz on my fucking salad. Oh, this is healthy. Let's jizz on it now. I think that <laughs> might be the one thing that I can actually like I can't agree do it. with you with. The ranch, Caesar dressing. Oh, it's ass. Like the creamy dressings, I'm not I don't like. Oh, blue cheese. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> We're so different in that. Oh God, I can't do it. Yeah. I don't know why people love it. And then they fucking have the white shit all over their face. Yeah. It's like someone fucking blew a load in their mouth. And then you're talking to them and they still have a little fucking white shit on their face. I want to fucking vomit. <laughs> there was a restaurant that I went into that had like everything on the menu had mayonnaise. And it smelled like like a giant foot. Like 
like a shoe. Yeah, I don't like mayonnaise either. I won't eat it, but I can be in the same room as it. Oh, can't you can't it. even be in the same room it's disgusting. as it. It's disgusting. It's, it's, it's disgusting. I don't know why. It's a, yeah, I agree. It's I don't like, like, I won't eat mayonnaise, but I, I can be around it. Disgusting. Like, if you eat, like, if you're eating a sandwich of mayonnaise, I have, I have no problem that you're eating it. Just don't eat it by me. Yeah, like, that's how Because then I, like, when you're talking to me, I get the, the fucking mayo breath. <laughs> <laughs> It's like they get that fucking hot ass mayo breath and shit. Yeah, mayonnaise is disgusting. Oh but god, it's this nasty. Mayonnaise is just fucking gross. And it's extremely unhealthy for you. Yeah, I that's the thing. That. I'm not missing out. You know, it's like, oh man, mayonnaise is it's not even good for you. So it's not like it's not My like I'm dad missing puts out. Mayonnaise on everything. Yeah, your dad. It's got problems. Yeah, he puts it on like. <laughs> ugh. Yeah, fuck it's cottage gross. cheese. I like cottage cheese. <laughs> fuck that. I won't eat mayonnaise, but I'll eat cottage cheese. Yeah. Just, I can't do it, man. One, can't do it. One. Why me, Lord, why me? See, this is why you can't have Christmas, New Year's, and Valentine's Day so close to each other. Because Chrome chances of reproducing <laughs> goes up. I can't believe you're having another kid, it's man. It's so crazy. Are you trolling or are you legit having no, another he kid? I had another picture. It's like a litter. He's got a litter, man. He's How a does your wife feel about bearing all these children, Chrome? I mean, she wants it, man. I can't imagine going through pregnancy six times. Like, I mean, some women love it. Some women love pregnancy. Other women, it's one and done. No, Walty Mayo has a smell, man. See, the thing yeah, is, you mayo like does it. Have a smell. Mayo smells like yeah, it's pretty. It's gross. like a weird, funky smell. Like mayo is like like. Oh man, I don't know how to explain it, but it it smells like a weird bo smell. Like mayo. it smells sour. No, it's, yeah, something. It smells like dirty. It smells like an armpit. Mayonnaise. No, it doesn't smell like an armpit. It's not like an onion. It's disgusting. Man. It smells like sour. Like it smells. <sighs> yeah, like, like sour milk or some. Yeah, shit. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, man, it's just, it's just like I don't know. It's like ugh. I know people that smell like mayonnaise. One, it's one, just fucking one. gross, man. Who the fuck dunks hot wings in anything to lower the spice level? I know. It's literally Louisiana hot sauce. That's like dumping pizza in ranch. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, bro, do you not like the taste of marinara <laughs> sauce, pepperoni, and garlic? I don't get it. Like, why? It's so delicious. Why ruin it? I had a friend who constantly dipped her pizza in ranch. Yeah. Constantly. I never saw that until I was in my 30s. I yeah. never even saw it. Like, it was like sacrilegious in New York. Yeah. It's like a big thing, especially in the Midwest, dipping your pizza yeah, in ranch. Nuts. But you know what, though? It makes sense. It's if gross. Pizza, pizza it's so sucks. Gross. You, do, you just dunk it in ranch. It's fucking disgusting. Tell John and Kate plus eight, we coming. <laughs> no kidding. I don't think he's stopping. Yeah, I think he's going to I think he's gonna break. Every year, there'll he's be a new 10. Chrome. That's awesome, man. Yeah, congrats, man. That's awesome. That's, uh, listen, it's cool, man. He's got his own little team at home. Yeah, you can make, um, you could like uh, build your own league. Yeah, you know it's that we're ruining Walty now, man. Because now it's gonna happen. If Walty's anything like me, like when someone starts like ripping on something, like it gets in my head, and then the next time, like it ruins the experience. You'll for smell me. it, Walty. If yeah. you if if you're around someone who's using mayo, or if you use mayo or whatever, you'll smell it. Can it, you eat a spoonful of mayo? It's fucking dis- what? Ew! <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. Like like any other condiment, I can eat. Like I like it's not d- delicious. But if someone put a spoonful of ketchup. Right? People hate ketchup, right? Yeah. If someone put that, all right, I'll just fucking throw it in my mouth, whatever. Right? Mustard, I could probably do the same. It, it's not my preferred thing to do. But if someone says, hey, can you eat a spoon for this? You put a fucking spoonful of yeah, mayonnaise. Yeah, vomit. You may as well put a fucking cockroach on that spoon. Yeah, it's gross. Mayonnaise is the worst. So there it is. So he says, nah, no spoonful of mayo. So here's the thing. If you can't eat a spoonful of it, why, then the why do you fuck like it? Do you put that on your sandwich? <laughs> like, think about it. It's disgusting in a spoon. But yet you're like, ah, oh, let's put this on a sandwich. Like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, if you put a spoonful of shit, right, in front of you, like, oh, this is gross. It smells terrible. I'm not going to put this on. But let me try it on the sandwich. See how that tastes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mayo's done. But it's true with pizza. If pizza sucks, like, we had that pizza the other day. That pizza was the worst pizza I've ever had. You know what I do? I Disgusting. Like, I like to drip hot sauce on my pizza. Yeah, hot sauce is good on pizza. I but, like that. But if you have a good slice of pizza, you don't need anything. You're, you're right, but I'm I'm one of those types of people who puts hot sauce on my pizza. You notice ever since I came to Arizona, now I'm putting things on my pizza because I'm just like... Well, Arizona pizza is not going to be as good as New York and pizza. And in New York, I would put like... in If we were order Domino's, so we were like idiots trying to save some money, I would put stuff on the pizza to try to cover up the shitty taste of the pizza, right? Yeah. But you but go to Arizona, New Park... What do you expect? Yeah, you go to New Park, it's just a regular slice, nothing on it. Yeah, we always And you're cheese. satisfied, yeah. you know? 
So so I think what people do is they take the ranch and they fucking do, just saturate. People the pizza. use other things to disguise yeah. certain tastes. No one in New York just puts fucking pizza in ranch. It doesn't yeah, make any it's sense. Disgusting. It's so gross. But if you if you're living in Florida, like 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 for instance, I've been to Florida. The pizza in Florida is so fucking bad. Well, their water is really bad yeah. too. Like Pizza Hut's gold, you know. I don't know why you don't like Pizza Hut. I like Pizza Hut. In Florida, it's it's heaven. I remember when we went on vacations and we would like look for the Pizza Huts. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if it's good. still like that, but um, but I don't know. That's the only thing New York's got. Everything else sucks in New York. Chicken bacon ranch pizza. My Isn't sister my likes that pizza. Chicken bacon ranch. Chicken bacon ranch. She loves that pizza. Uh, mayo. And cucarachas. Cucarachas. <laughs> man, That's disgusting. Man. If mayo is great conditioner for beer. Yeah, don't people put mayo in there? Yeah. There? So actually, there is oh. a there is. I know you would never do it because you don't like the smell, but there actually is uh, health benefits to your hair. My sister does it, where they mix like mayo. She puts mayo in her hair. It's like a mixture. Oh, stop it! Stop yeah. it! It's a mask. She will never stay over this, this home. No, she doesn't do it every night. Oh, she puts mayo on her face. No, it's a mask for your hair. It's a, it's How a, long does she keep it in her hair? You're supposed to keep it in for like 20 minutes and then you wash it out. Jesse, if you put a million dollars in front of me, it said put fucking mayo in your hair and just let it no, sit there. No, it's not just mayo. I said keep your you fucking... You mix it. It's like mayo and oatmeal. Like you're supposed to mix oh. it with a whole bunch of other stuff. Mayo and oatmeal? Yeah, it's like a mask. Did you ever eat a bowl of mayo and oatmeal? <laughs> Ew. Why would you eat that? You don't eat it. She puts it in her hair. Look, I got the tattoo, guys. I, I like. I don't fuck around, man. Kill fucking mayo. Kill it. Kill. Kill. Kill mayo. Kill it. Wonderful. I wonderful. fucking can't stand it. Ranch is good on everything. I have had pizza with ranch as the sauce instead of marinara, and it was gas. I once challenged my friend to drink water mixed with water, and he actually liked it a little. Rate really do be the supreme condiment. <laughs> Where do you live, DVSV? I, I, you probably I, live somewhere in the Midwest yeah, or the West. There's no fucking... No. Awesome. Hold on a second. <laughs> awesome. Awesome is here. That, that's awesome. That's awesome. This is Kill Mayo. This is very different. Mayo is great for suffocating lice when kids bring the shit home from school. So, okay, so get this. And here's where my question is. If you can use mayo for more than just eating it, like killing lice or making your hair healthier or using it as a face mask, things that you wouldn't consume, then why would you want to consume that? If you can use it, if you can literally use it for other things other than consuming, that should tell you that it's not a very good thing to be putting polish. in your body. No, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, the whole, the whole thing, put a spoon. I'm trying to think, give me something that you say, would you eat a spoonful of that? It's disgusting. Yeah, I, I don't eat mayo, but I can be in the same room as it. Like, it's weird. I can't think of one thing that I eat that if you put a spoonful of it in front of me, that I'd be like, nah, I'm not going to eat that. I, give me one thing. You wouldn't eat... A spoonful of what? Balsamic? There's a lot of things that you wouldn't eat, eat a spoonful. No, that I like. You're very finicky. Like, what? I'm way more exploring than you. What? Yeah. I, I, I introduced you to calamari. I have to accommodate every meal I make for you just in case you don't like it. No, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. The reason why you accommodate is because I, I try to eat healthy, right? No. Salt? You wouldn't eat a spoonful of salt? No, because salt, I don't like salt. And salt is not good for you. So I don't eat it. I don't eat salt. I don't eat it. Listen, but you said, if you put salt things? on my fries or shit, like, yeah, I, I can eat salt. It's not like I don't. I don't. I just don't need it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't said, need it. What other That's why my blood pressure and everything's great. Eat? What's that? You said what other thing would you not eat? It's That's not something that I like one. though. It's not like, and I would eat salt if, if you put it there, but. Luck for me, Toe, it's a boy. That's now five boys and one girl. Oh my God. The wifey wants to name him Forrest. I asked her, could his nickname be Rain? She cussed me out and said, who do you know named fucking Rain? <laughs> I said, wipe from the office. Real name is Rain Wilson. That's, that's true. That is his name. Rain is a hippie name though. You want to name your kid a hippie name. That's not a bad name, Rain. I like that name. That's kind of cool. I had a Rain? friend named Shady. Rain Shady? I had a friend named Shady and her brother's name was Earth and they had hippie parents. <clears> hmm. <throat> yeah, I don't put salt on anything. I When yes. I was a kid, I used to. Yes. Super chat. Where is it? I like the tangy zip of Miracle Whip. Okay, hold on a second. You forgot. The, no, the gaming donation's there, Moss. It's on the bottom. Where is it? 
Gaming. It just didn't pop up. Donations. What? Yeah, there you go. Can you replay it? Let me see if I want to get you that thing to You replay it. I don't have it open. I don't have it open either, Jess. Oh, so allow me. No, because I would have to sign out and sign back in. So you, you're right there. But um, we'll find out who that... Oh, actually, hold on. He's right here. Or she. Uh, Credo Ape Thor says, I like the tangy zip of Miracle Whip. Thank you, but no. No, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, I don't fucking... Where did it go? It's because it was underneath the um wallpaper. Yeah, I moved it up, though. Okay, so let me log in and replay it. Uh, oh my god! Oh my Please god! Don't ever do that again. That's gross. Oh god, miracle! All right, this is good. I like this. Wonderful, wonderful, Vlad. Bro, in nearly every family get together, I've had at least one aunt that brings a potato or macaroni salad made with mayo. Blech. I just power through it like I'm the Fear Factor show with <laughs> Rogan. Imagine liking creamy, salty. Oily egg whites. That's, oh, that's how that. my um my dad's side of the family is. There's always like oh, there's always so like bad. a potato salad or a macaroni salad or a green bean salad or something like that that has fucking mayo in it. Think about how dumb this is. Uh, by the way, German potato salad. Yes. There we go. There we go. Super chat. And you're gone. Okay. I like the tangy zip of Miracle Whip. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll reload it. All right, where is it? Um, donation alerts, gaming background. Um, where'd you Called put it? Gaming donations. It's not here. You just had it. What did you do with it? I didn't do anything. You took it so off. I never. You never put it on. Yes, I did. Okay, don't worry. I'll put it on right now. Gaming donations. There we go. Ah, yes, there you are. Okay, I got you. I got you. One, I got you, one. Credo. I got you. Yeah. So, like, if you go to a fucking picnic. A barbecue, a cookout, and it's hot outside. Nothing better than bring, bringing a tray of fucking mayonnaise laced fucking potatoes. Disgusting. Think about that. Sitting out in the fucking sun. Sitting out in the sun, just, just, just fermenting. And as the day goes on, and that fucking potato salad sits there more, it smells more and more like a fucking dead body. Bob Cratchit yet, says, I can't stand mayo, but I love deviled eggs. Dude, Bob Cratchit, I make these deviled eggs that are mayo-free, mm. and they are fucking delicious, and they're healthy. They're healthier for you. So instead of mayonnaise, you mash <coughs> up avocado, like a ripe avocado. Yeah, this actually is a good trick. And and anything you can really do it for anything. Anytime like, there's a recipe that calls for mayonnaise, replace it with avocado. I promise you it will taste Almost identical, if not better. What has it got? Avocado and it's just got avocado. It's got like garlic in it too, though, right? Um, no, it's got that? avocado, uh, grape, oh. grape coupon, mustard, pickles, pickles, and green onion. It's fucking delicious. And that's it. Yeah, it's it's supposed to be like a substitute for mayo, <clears throat> but it tastes it tastes doesn't taste anything like mayo to me. It's so fucking good. I promise you, if you replace any recipe that has mayo with avocado, I guarantee it it'll taste just as good or better. Okay. There you go. She's right. It's good. It's good stuff. Well, it's not good for heartburn if you eat it every day, but you one, can have one, it every one. once in a while. The worst name I've ever seen somebody have is Jason Master Bates. The guy told me that it was his mother's idea as well. I haven't seen him in years, <laughs> but I'm pretty that- sure he has changed it by now. Wait, his middle name is Master for real? My God. How, why would you do that to your kid? Because they thought it was funny. Or Richard. Like, if your name is Richard, like, you got to be really careful, you know, what the last name is. Like Burns. You know? Okay. <laughs> Mayo Bond Salad 